Monster shards on the dance floor, Louis V carpet. 2021, what a year. Bittersweet is coming to an end. We gon' highlight a few things for the free to play and those to spend. Geo Master Bro for one day, got a saw hand like Victor Ted. He did it first though without a bug, man. He hit for over 700 mil. Shaw party with Layla App. Who got partner this year? Jay Giggs, Uncle Patches, Smiley, and Mr. Thame. Big shout to Saffron Man. He the one that got us all hit. Can't forget Hell Hades helped us all to optimize gear. Doom Tower trying to do it fast, so we all gotta come with us here. Or just use Chris. Like Ken Patchy says, I've been imagining the day that I could beat the Ray Zilla monster. Gonna need a savage set. Crit rate on attack chest. Gear cleanse. You be lucky if you get a gear cleanse. Front one of mess. Bench stress. Trying to roll subs fast. Will it be speed? Will it be flat? CVC got me click, clack, click, clack, click. Like a lab rat is H dub. You can ask chat. Yo, gigs, tell him what's next. Sadly, never happening. Keep a mad with the packs we bring. I can't be taking that heat. Take it back to brackets. The Halloween ring. I look at my stat sheet. What attracts these people is my greatness, bitch. Like a 10 next with a Valkyrie. Like fat chicks, you never gonna grab me, neither. RNG the minutes here to dominate them. Greatest ever nominate them. Get inside the beat like I'm a surgeon. Time to operate them. Cutting them again. My lip is gonna blade them. With a skill up above every fucking body in the game. Debilitating every rapper. Thinking they can denigrate them. And I make anybody who play and rate afraid of paper. Don't nobody want them. But they're gonna spin it anyway. Cause y'all beginning to see that I'm any villain. I'm a killer. You need to seal them. A thriller. Me, I'm a Liam Manila. You bring in the villain within me. Adam, you don't want to be here when I free the behemoth. To lose me. I keep it raving. Call me Cena. Cause they're in the sea of me. I'm the deity of rapidity. Increasing the speed of killing any affinity. Motherfucker, you better run. Are you finna be deadly? Free to play in silver three. A hundred percent of you players couldn't beat a tenth of me. I'm at it to diminish you, bitch. I'm despicable. You want a battle? I'm unkillable. I'm rolling with that. Just invisible. I'm inexplicable. I'm unequivocal. I'm unforgivable. I'm fucking biblical and orange criminal. You never catch a digital. The God I rate a Man, stop. How's it going, Chad? Just give us a second here. We're just trying to get started up and uh, we'll get going. Get ready for another excited show. Welcome to Teleria. Miscreate when I stepped in. Plat reset is risky. Like Clambo sending you back to the past. The system is getting landed. Two Legos are getting unfolded now. 100k, that's Hades. 100k, that's Ash. 100 mil on CB. Shouts to Deadwood, that's that. One artifact, that's 5 mil. One amulet, that's 10. CC's killing off this beat. Murder raking with that pen. Uh. I've got my mask on like Jets in. Victor holding records like weights. Our bench press. Samurai Shing in arena with my shadow kid. Jember when now you're panicking. Skull crowns are getting taken out. Yeah. Death night night Layla Fox. Sharp pools for that summon rush. Free key subs in eight months. Wanna shout you for all the love. love. Community, we keep it strong. Valerian back and forth just like ping pong. Maybe in five years we'll get that Hydra boss. F forget a monster. You can call us Ray Zillas. Why? Sacred. I don't wanna see ice like Frost bringers. Some say, why? Why you see you've got a cold heart? Your smiley come and bring that heat like Ignatius. Monster. If things don't go my way, then I'm gonna have to crunch you. Feed you to my chest, to the tavern where we go soon. I can't wait to see where this is going, what you gon' do. I don't give a damn how you feel, oh boo hoo. Wait till a fire spit a monster. Shards of the dance floor, Louis V. Carpet. Fire. Wait till a fire. Monster. Shards of the dance floor, Louis V. Carpet. Heard he quit, wait, keep with the clickbait, got paid, I made. 
may thy raid viz Explode like nitrate, my fate is Show you where my knife blade ends Better hope we can bring the friends Dopamine and the dopamine Crack your skull like an opening Shard to X, here we go again I'm a universe of death And I'm beyond your comprehension I'll decapitate that fool If he enters my dimension Alone in my life now I don't need your permission Boot all my cheaters out Call that CC suspension Hair like his tension But without all the excuses Looking for a top I've been feeling all your nooses I don't know when to stop I'll be violating truces Someone needs to do this Let me show you where the truth is Put babe like Medusa Your views are what I use Like the words of my hoodie I need a mirror to get through You should fear the tubes I've been deadly with the blues I've been known to kill a synth I'm a shepherd of the news Monster If things don't go my way Then I'm gonna have to crunch you Feed you to my chest To the tavern where we go soon I can't wait to see where this is going What you gonna do I don't give a damn how you feel Oh boo hoo Wait till a fire spit a monster Shards of the dance floor Louis V carpet Fire Wait till a fire Monster Shards on the dance floor Louis V carpet 2021 what a year Bittersweet is coming to an end We gon' highlight a few things For the free to play And those that spin GMS a bro for one day got a saw hand like Victor Ted. He did it first though without a bug. Man, he hit for over 700 mil. Sean party with Layla at. Who got partner this year? Jay Giggs, Uncle Patches, Smiley, and Mr. Thame. Big shout to Saffron Man. He the one that got us all hit. Can't forget Hell Hades helped us all to optimize gear. Doom Tower trying to do it fast, so we all got a comp with us here. Or just use Chris. Like Ken Patchy says, I've been imagining the day that I could beat the Ray Zilla monster. Gonna need a savage set. Crit rate on attack chest. Gear cleanse. You'll be lucky if you get a gear cleanse. Front one of mess. Bench stretch. Trying to roll subs fast. Will it be speed? Will it be flash? If you see, got me click, clack, click, clack, click. Like a lab rat is H dub. You can ask chat. Yo, gigs, tell him what's next. Sadly, never had me. Keep a mad with the packs we bring. I can't be taking that heat. Take it back to Brackus, the Halloween ringer. Look at my stat sheet. What attracts these people is my greatness, bitch. Like a 10 next with a Valkyrie. Like fat chicks, you never gonna grab me, neither. RNG the minister to dominate him, greatest ever nominate him Get inside the beat like I'm a surgeon, time to operate him, cutting him again My lip is gonna bleed him, with the skill up above every fucking body in the game Debilitating every rapper thinking they can denigrate him And I make anybody who playing raid afraid of him, but don't nobody want him But they're gonna spin it anyway, cause y'all beginning to see that I'm Amity Villa I'm a killer, you need to seal him, a thriller me I'm a Liam Manila, you bringing the villain with him, he me You don't wanna be here when I free the behemoth, delusion me I keep it raving, call me Cena, cause they're in the sea me I'm the deity of rapidity, increasing the speed of killing any affinity Motherfucker, you better run or you finna be dead like free to play in silver three hundred percent of you players couldn't beat a tenth of me I'm at a dead diminish you, bitch, I'm despicable You wanna battle, I'm unkillable, I'm rolling with Duchess invisible, I'm inexplicable, I'm unequivocal, I'm unforgivable, I'm fucking biblical and orange criminal You never catch him digital, the god I raider will look Man, stop chat let's get ready i got a special guest for you guys today here and uh i hope you are ready maybe we'll get some spitfire uh raps from him care to guess who it is let me know in the chat You know I'm bringing force like a mannequin. Told me got you frozen, now you pose like a mannequin. Solo with that crimson, and Bob will be my witness. No heart like I'm harvest from January to Christmas. You, you don't want to miss this. Or fusions. Welcome to Teleria. Mistreat when I stepped in. Plat reset is risky. Like Clambo sending you back to the past. The system is getting landed. Two Legos are getting unfolded now. 100k, that's Hades. 100k, that's Ash. 100 mil on CB. Shouts to Deadwood, that's that. One artifact, that's 5 mil. One I be look, that's 10 CC's killing off this beat Murdering him with that pen Uh, 
I've, I've got my mask on like Jets in. Victor holding records like weights out of bench press. Samurai Shing in arena with my shadow kid. Jember when now you're panicking. Skull crowns are getting taken out. Yeah. Death night like Layla Fox. Sharp pools for that summon rush. 3K subs in eight months. Wanna shout you for all the love. love. Community, we keep it strong. Polarian back and forth just like ping pong. Maybe in five years we'll get that Hydra boss. F forget a monster. You can call us Raid Zillas. Sacred. I don't wanna see ice like frost bringers. Some say, why you see you've got a cold heart. Your smiley, come and bring that heat like Ignatius. Monster. If things don't go my way, then I'm gonna have to crunch you. Feed you to my chest, to the tavern where we go soon. I can't wait to see where this is going, what you gon' do. I don't give a damn how you feel, oh fool. Ray Zilla, fire spit a monster. Shards of the dance floor, Louis V. Carpet. Fire. Ray Zilla, fire. Monster. Shards on the dance floor, Louis V. Carpet. Heard he quit way, with the clickbait, got paid, I made, I raid this. Flow like nitrate, my fate is. Show you where my knife blade ends. Better hope we can bring the friends. Dopamine and the dopamine. Crack your skull like an open end. Shard 2x, here we go again. I'm a universe of death, and I'm beyond your comprehension. I'll decapitate that fool if he enters my dimension. Alone in my life now, I don't need your permission. Boot all my cheaters out, call that CC suspension. Hair like his tension, but without all the excuses. Looking for a top, I've been feeling all your nooses. I don't know when to stop, I'd be violating truces. Someone needs to do this, let me show you where the truth is. Click babe like Medusa, your views are what I use. Like the words of my hoodie, I need a mirror to get through. You should fear the tubes, I've been deadly with the blues. I've been known to kill a synth, I'm a shepherd of the news. Monster. If things don't go my way, then I'm gonna have to crunch you. Feed you to my chest, to the tavern where we go soon. I can't wait to see where this is going, what you gon' do. I don't give a damn how you feel, oh boo hoo. Wait till a fire spit a monster. Shards of the dance floor, Louis V. Carpet. Fire. Wait till a fire. Monster. Shards on the dance floor, Louis V. Carpet. 2021, what a year. Bittersweet is coming to an end. We gon' highlight a few things for the free to play and those to spin. Geo Massa Bro for one day, got us all him like Victor Ted. He did it first, though, without a bug. Man, he hit for over 700 mil. Sean Party with Layla App. Who got partner this year? Jay Giggs, Uncle Patches, Smiley, and Mr. Tham. Big shout to Saffron Man. He the one that got us all hit. Can't forget, Hell Hades helped us all to optimize gear. Doom Tower trying to do it fast, so we all gotta come with us here. Or just use Chris. Like Ken Patchy says, I've been imagining the day that I could beat the Ray Zilla monster. Gonna need a savage set. Crit rate on attack chest. Gear cleanse. You'll be lucky if you get a gear cleanse. Front one of mass bench stress. Trying to roll sub stats. Will it be speed? Will it be flats? If you see, got me click, clack, click, clack, click. Like a lab rat is H dub. You can ask chat. Yo, gigs, tell him what's next. Sadly, never had me. Keep a mad with the packs we bring. I can't be taking that heat. Take it back to brackets. The Halloween ring. Look at my stat sheet. What attracts these people is my greatness, bitch. Like a 10 next with a Valkyrie. Like fat chicks, you never gonna grab me, neither. Orange the minute, to dominate him. Greatest ever nominate him. Get inside the beat like I'm a surgeon. Time to operate him. Cutting him again. My lyrics gonna bleed him. With the skill up above every fucking body in the game. Debilitating every rapper. Thinking they can denigrate him. And I make anybody who playing rate afraid of paper. Don't nobody want him, but they're gonna spin it anyway. Cause y'all beginning to see that I'm Amity Villa. I'm a killer. You need to seal him. I'm a thriller. Me, I'm a Liam Manila. You bringing the villain with him. You don't wanna be here when I free the behemoth. Delusive me. I keep it raving. Call me Cena. Cause they're gonna see me. I'm the deity of rapidity. Increasing the speed of killing any affinity. Motherfucker, you better run or you finna be dead. Like free to play in silver three. hundred percent of you players couldn't beat a tenth of me. I'm at a to diminish you, bitch. I'm despicable. You wanna battle? I'm unkillable. I'm rolling with Dutch. It's invisible. I'm inexplicable. I'm unequivocal. I'm unforgivable. I'm fucking biblical. An orange criminal. You never catch him digital. They got a raider with a Man, stop.
What is going on, everybody? Welcome to another episode of the Knights of Teleria podcast, the show for Raid Shadow Legends brought to you by all of the content creators. That's for the community. Uh, we got a lot of stuff to talk about today, right? We, we're going to be talking about dungeon nerfs, some changes that are coming. We're going to touch about some channels. But before we get into that, I need to introduce my co-host for the show today. And man, we've got a big panel. So we're going to start with the top green, Mr. PJ. PJ, how are you doing, my man? Yo, doing amazing. Had a great week. Happy to be here. Can't wait to talk um, raid and uh, see what everyone thinks about the upcoming changes. Let's go. Let's go. All right. In the blue box, we've got the ultimate 1397 free to play player, Mr. Final Kampachi. Ken, how are you doing, sir? I'm tired, man. I go outside today, touch some grass, but <laughs> grass top of the mountain, so I did a little bit hiking. So yeah. my legs are... doesn't feel good, <laughs> but <laughs> I'm talking, so it's okay. I'm uh, good to be here with you guys. We have a lot of new uh, content creator with us. I'm excited. Nice. I'm, I'm glad you clarified what kind of grass you are touching right there. Um, yeah. <laughs> right underneath what that. holiday. <laughs> in the pink. We have the lovely Daffodil. Daff, how are you doing? You are overselling the product. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. I'm doing okay. I had a very exciting week. Nice, very Actually. nice. <laughs> um, right underneath in the red box, we have Mr. G Mills, aka also known as Gesto Gaming. G Mills, how are you, brother? I'm doing excellent, Blazing. How you doing? All day today, I've been running a uh, normal campaign to get about 350 runs so I can complete my monthly. I hate that quest. Can we please change it for late gamers somehow? That is horrible. Uh, there's, there there, there's a lot of things we need to change about some of those quests, but yes. Yes. <laughs> this is the worst, man. <laughs> I want my shark. Give me my gold shark. <laughs> Um, and two, I guess my right, I have uh, one of the most fun Friday night late streamers, Mr. Zero Brew. Zero, how are we doing today, sir? I'm excited. I'm about to dab in the direction of your next guest. I'm very excited. Uh, but also, we got some awesome new people in, in here, so I'm very happy to be here. Thank you, thank you, thank you for having us. Thank you. All right, and then to my left, for the first time on the channel, Mr. Metaverse Truck. Meta, how are you doing? Doing all good. Just came back from work. Enjoying the enjoying the first time. Dedicated FTP player. I'm ready, man. I'm let's, ready. Let's go. Let's go. All right. And then the special guest, one that I've been trying for a very long time to get on the podcast. And I know dad, being a dad is, is a very hard time, especially when you have a little one. But can we all get a real big hype in the chat for Mr. HWZ? How are you doing, boss? I'm doing awesome, man. I'm I'm glad to be here. Thanks for having me. You know, uh, I feel like we have a great panel, some awesome creators up here, a lot of great minds. So, I'm I'm yeah, I'm happy to be here, man. <laughs> Let's get it, guys. Let's get it. All right. So we have a lot of stuff this week to talk about. Uh, Plarium told us that we're going to be getting some dungeon nerfs, some reworks, um, and then we got some big news about Centranos, especially since this rotation is rotation five. <laughs> Um, now, as always, I do like to start the show with a creator question of the week, right? Something to get the community to find out a little more about us. Um, and so with that, uh, actually, we're going to start off with what I asked you guys last week. Uh, and some of you weren't here or were not here, but Mr. Odd One Gaming and Ivy League Gaming had a baby last week. Um, and her name is Lily. So. I asked you guys to think about what her OP passive skill would be and be a little creative. I like doing these just because they're kind of fun and especially because the babies are just so cute and adorable. Like there's, there's nothing in the world like having a child and just thinking about what the, what the possibilities of them could be. So um, let's see here. Who looks like they want to go first? PJ's got a big I'll smile go. on his face. I'll go so. first. I'll go first. <laughs> I don't want someone to take mine. 
<laughs> All right, PJ, hit me. <laughs> All right. Well, I don't know if this is a passive or just like a skill and all to get like just a skill, but we got Clappy Clappy. It's an AOE more to peril that also ignores stone skin. Wow. Okay. <laughs> okay. That's Hitting it right off the with. bat, ignoring stone skin, block revive AOE. All right. All right. Uh, let's go with um, Mr. HWZ next. So passive I thought of um, is he called? It's just called you know sleepless eternity. And basically, when Lily is present, no one's getting any sleep. Your ten years <laughs> at zero. You're not taking turns. <laughs> okay, okay. Uh, Armand's two point oh. I'm loving it, chat. <laughs> I'm loving it. Um. All right, Gessel. What about you, man? What you got? Uh, I guess I. I guess I misunderstood the question. I. I thought the passive would be like a real life one and like auto change diapers, man. I think that that's what you will really want to have, right? I, it, that, I guess I, I, like I didn't it. know it was like an in game ability. I thought this was real life ability. Okay. So that's the passive, man. You never got to change diapers. What's better than that? All right. All right. Um, all right. Ken, what about you? What do you got? You know what is babies, man? They are free to play. They are real free to play. You know, like they are not spending any money. So would be nice uh, her passive skill. You know, immune to the pay to win player. Okay. So any damage coming from them, just no damage. Okay. Just, immune yeah. to pay to win. Anybody players. spent more than forty dollar, <laughs> she's gonna immune them. Yeah. Okay. All right. All right. I I I'm, I can get on board with that. I can get on board. Um, Daff, what about you? What you got for oh, me? Okay. I haven't thought about anything. You haven't Tell thought about anything. I'm not a baby person, what can I say? But what if like a debuff, she she poops everywhere and slows you down because you have to clean it up and you never have anything done. Okay. Careful. So so she gets an AoE slow uh decrease speed on everybody. <laughs> speed down. Okay. Always have a always have a decrease speed on you. Okay. All right. Stuck in the mud. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> all right, all right. Uh Meta, what about you? What you got for me? Uh, some kind of sneaky passive, damp damper, diaper, some shit. Auto <laughs> skills become uh, just A1, attack one enemy. Because, I mean, two hands are busy, you can't do shit. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. Um, let's see. Zero, what you got for me? All right. So, we all think of, like, lambs and sheep and, you know, going to sleep and stuff. So, how about... Anytime a sheep appears, the person who caused it automatically goes to sleep. Okay. Oh, so, a, ca a counter sleep to And can't be uh, woken sheep. up. <laughs> and can, yeah, can never be woken up. Exactly. Yeah. Awesome. And the wake some. Awesome. Uh, what about you, Blazon? What you got? All right. So for me, I'm going to call it batting eyelashes, right? And uh, Lily bats her eyelashes, removes all buffs from all players and then places a protected stone skin on the whole team. I think that would be an absolute great, great skill to have as a passive. Um, <laughs> but overall, very solid. Love them all. Um, again, big shout out to Ivy and to Odd One on their baby girl. Congrats. Um, congrats. Right, beautiful, beautiful thing to have right there. Um, and I, I really love how you guys went in with the creative of, of what we can do. <laughs> with a lot of these passives it's a, it's a fun it's fun it's fun i hope uh i hope ivy and odd one get to watch this or maybe i'll i'll snip it and send it to them but um all right so let me see here let's start off with i guess uh what you've been doing this week in raid um zero what have you been up to uh just going all in on this uh makagi situation uh i never got her passive so or excuse me awakened i never got her awakened so going in all in all in on that to make sure that happens, and uh, I was running Fire Knight because we had the the one, and I'm not quite 100. percent And I think if I get her awakened, uh, that will make me 100. percent Just getting the extra HP, uh, attack, and defense, okay, helpful. So all in on that. All right, uh, H Dub, what are you, what have you been up to this week in raid? Uh, this week in raid, just prepping for CVC next week. We got PR, so um, you know we take that pretty serious. So. Uh, just prepping for that. I'm actually not really going for the Makage Soul 
just because, uh, you know, I've been going for the last few Titan events we've had. I've gone all out on all of them, and I'm not sp- I haven't spent on the game in uh, quite some time. So I can't. Um, I just I just can't go for this one, honestly. Okay. All right. Uh, let's go meta. What about you? What have you been up to this week, bro? Well, as usual, lots of nothing. Just hovering over the game and Curse City, uh, getting some primal shards from dungeons, whatever the events. Not much. I'm happy I can skip the Mikage event, so I can maybe run Minotaur. Maybe. All right. All right. That's <laughs> that's a hey, that's solid. Listen, player Moso, I know you're watching, but can we get some like I don't know turn dungeon based events for like Minnow or Potion Keeps? Like, come on, let's. I, I we we farm everything um, else, but we need, yeah we need some other stuff. We need some other stuff. Um, PJ, what about you? What you've been up to this week, brother? Uh, I was working at Mary's missions a lot. Uh, I was um, doing the a uh, bunch of the mythical ones. Tried to get four mythical chest plates. Got that done. Um, now I got a time met up for a few other things uh, in the future. And then uh, I was going to go for the Mikage three star, but as I see these points coming out, like the point. Like how high they are, I've been like, eh, maybe I don't really want to do this champion training. I'm gonna just probably just get what I can with the easier events and see how far that gets me. I don't really think the souls are gonna make or break me. Okay, okay. Mm-hmm. Um, Mr. G Mills, what about you? What you been up to this week? Uh, yeah, it's been mostly live arena. Uh, rebuilt a couple champs and uh, looking to do a couple more. Um, but, uh, yeah, I think, uh, I'm pretty happy that the Titan event isn't that, isn't something, like, super worthwhile, so, I am going along with each event, and if I get the, if I get the webs, like, cool, if I don't, whatever, uh, but if, it'd be nice to at least get up to, like, that primal shard or something, so. Okay. Uh, yeah, it's just been kind of an easy week, off week, ready for, ready, ready for CVC on Tuesday, man. All right, all right. Uh, Ken, what about you? Ready to, to bust out that credit card yet? No. <laughs> <laughs> Big line, you know. <laughs> what you been up to? Uh, I'm skipping the Mikage event because I already have a four star, which is it make me happy. I'm glad it's not five star, you know, because I need to save my resources. Like I said, I'm also gonna skip the next version. Uh, this is also great for me. I can save lots of the resources. And I actually reached gold four on the live arena. Very nice, and, congratulations! Uh, yeah, thank you so Very much. I al- already seen people two thousand point above me <laughs> matchmaking. This <laughs> makes me <laughs> nice. Feel, feels nice. It's a lot I of fun, like man. Pl- plus four mythicals. Uh, that's great. Okay. Um, Miss Daff, what have you been up to? I hit gold two in live arena. Congratulations! Nice. Oh, nice. Very to be like five, five or six weeks. I cleared three four creeps. Very happy and I three started a bunch of creeps. Uh actually I really like this new login champion lady. I really enjoy her skills. I started building her. And I've been fighting Amos. I call it Amos. I can't I work I worked on his at like halfway and then my team is going down. I think it's speed issue, but working on it, um and uh, trying to one keep brutal hydro every day. <laughs> I, I'm getting there. <laughs> nice. I'm gonna. I'm gonna do it um, next week, hopefully. Okay. Uh, I think you're probably the only one that is liking this new uh, seven day login. Um, I guess okay. I, 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 I will have to say I'm reading a lot of the comments for the videos that people are posting, and one of the things is everybody's harping on. Hey, it's too early. Let them rework and let's see what the result's gonna be. Exactly. Um, but, yeah, yeah. You know, fair enough. That is fair. But I guess as a player base, we look at the things right here, right now. We don't think about the long term. To be fair, <laughs> Plarium does not rule things out really quick, right? Uh, they do like to take their time. So we do get a little antsy when we see things. Um, but- yeah, but also you have to realize that, you know, I don't play, I, it's going to be one here I'm playing this game, right? So for me, it's different. And I can imagine forever a new newer player. It's it's really helpful to me. This was she was the one who helped me finish that uh, faction crypt. That's all I there needed. Oh, that's awesome! So awesome. with the heals, because m- most of my champions had damage, and okay. I and I needed a healer, and I still don't have a reviver, and I could still three star it with just the healing. 
So to me, it was really helpful. And I was stuck there for like two or three months. You know, for me, it was, it's, I really awesome. enjoy it. So do you have no revivers in this faction? No Ursula? No. Wow. Okay. I have a bunch of Yasmis. People know <laughs> me from the fact that I made it to um, Silver 4 in the library now with Yasmis. <clears throat> Okay. I just with, turned with, with, with her A3, <laughs> removing, uh, a... removing a bunch of books. Because I have a bunch of copies of her. That is interesting. Um, okay, that is interesting. Very, uh, Chancellor Yasmin, I, I guess, you know, I'm sitting at a six star of her. Maybe I'll uh, level her out, but... I, I, think, I think she's underrated. I used her to clear it, but I think it was only like 50. Okay, okay. Um... As for me this week, I've just been um, kind of just hanging back, trying to finish Centranos, um, which I guess is going to bring us into our talking point. How have you guys, now we are in Rotation 5, how have you guys been dealing with Centranos? Are you actually pushing? Are you doing anything in it? Or are you just saying, mm, I'm done with it? Uh, let's start with Miss Daffodil. Okay, so I look at Doom Tower and Curse City, I call it the Loot Palace. So if I don't know of something, obviously I'm looking for it. It's just grab whatever you can, but you know me, I love I love a good challenge and I cannot turn away from it, so I still try it. Um, I, I don't know. <laughs> it's hard. I, it's, it, for me especially. I give up and then I go back. But I don't know. Um, I know this content is mainly for end game players. For us, like I said, it's like looting and really just having s some excitement. So I'm sure you look at it differently. I do enjoy fighting it, actually. It's like, I never read his kit. I fight every boss, like I never read the kit. I try, I observe, and then that's how I do it. Okay. Uh, but I think it's a fun boss. Everything is fun in this game. Guys, play it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, I actually just realized that I skipped the creator question of the week, so we're going to go back for one second, um, but uh, let's nerd out just a little bit, right? Uh, I, do, I, I do apologize, guys, that I skipped it, but the creator question of the week is going to be, when you were a child, what was your go-to comic book? What did you love when you were DC, Marvel, and who was like the one that you always have to have? Uh, let's start with Mr. HWZ first. Mine would have been X Men. Um, so X Men was, I guess, pretty big when I was young. We didn't have like too many comic book stores per se where I was, but I would always watch X Men on TV. Okay. And um, you know anything Wolverine, man, I I was all for. It. Let's go, let's go, uh, Chad. I am interested. What was your favorite comic book when you guys, or what is currently your still your favorite comic book that you always you know go for, uh, Mister Zero? What about you, X Men yeah, fan? So yeah, X Men, <laughs> but especially Wolverine. Wolverine was my guy, um, and I'm a little bit older than you, HWZ. So I had some some access to some number ones and stuff. Mm -hmm. But then what was even crazier is in my little my little hometown in South Carolina, we had a pawn store and I went in and started looking around and someone had pawned like their 1960s X-Men. Now they were they were like redupes and they were in crappy condition, so they probably weren't worth a lot of money. But I got a hand, I got access to a whole bunch of those and was able to read through them. Nice. I didn't have to worry about them being in mint condition and stuff like that. Old school. Like nice. beast before he was blue, old school. Wow. Uh, <laughs> yeah, it was it was cool. It was cool, uh, and I had I had a really cool comic collection back in the day. Uh, but yeah, Marvel all the way. No offense to DC, but yeah, Marvel and uh, X Men was my favorite. Or X Men is my favorite group, and then of course Wolverine is my favorite character. Okay. Um, uh, Fox, I actually have watched all the episodes for X Men ninety seven, and I'm loving them. The last episode. Guys, there's 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 some spoilers, but uh, I, I, actually, I'm not going to spoil anything. I won't. But you, if you haven't already watched the new X Men '97, it takes place literally like the next season afterwards. It is a phenomenal show. I've even gone back to start watching the original X Men, and my seven year old daughter and eight year old son are watching it with me right now. 
Uh, Metaverse, what about you, man? Favorite comic book? So I guess you could argue it fits in the category of comics, but it's still like an unkillable character that lives like a badass adventurer. It's the Tintin. You guys, okay. is that good? Yeah. Tintin. All right. Tintin, yeah. Yes, comics. Okay. We'll definitely take that. Uh, PJ, what about you, man? Uh, I didn't really read comic books when I was younger. I mean, like, if you count, like, Captain Underpants, is that a comic book? Um, I think my son reads only those now. Only video games. <laughs> <laughs> only baseball and, uh, video games. Yeah, I mean, uh, I mean, as, as far as Marvel and DC, I definitely watched more Marvel, like, movies and stuff like that, but I didn't really, wasn't really big into comic books as a kid. Okay. All right. Uh, Mr. G Mills, what about you? Yeah, I'm kind of in PJ's boat. Um, I, it was pretty much sports and video games. The, uh, uh, but in terms of movies, Batman with uh, Michael, what was it? Michael, Michael Keaton? Keaton. Michael Keaton. Yeah. yeah. He, that, like, that, when I was like maybe five, six years old when that came out, that was like the greatest movie ever to me. Okay. Uh, so I was Gallon definitely. Guns. Popped out, uh, he shot down the factory door at the very beginning. I was like, oh, yeah, this, is, this is dope. Yeah, so I, I was a, I was definitely a huge fan of Batman. I didn't, I, I'll be perfectly honest with you, growing, like, I just wasn't really introduced to comic books, I'll be honest. Like, okay. my first introduction was that movie to be, you know, so I, I didn't even know it was a comic book. But, and you know, and you know what? That's fair because that, that was a great movie. That was a great movie. Yeah. Um, so I'll say Batman. Okay. I like them all though. I watch all the movies. Uh, you know, I think it's cool. I think it, I think it's all. I think it's great that it's all come from these two kind of universes that were built, and I think it's all good stuff, man. All right, uh, Ken. What about you? I mean, I think I said that before either my stream on here, but I'm not big fan of the big man's wearing underwear top of their pants. <laughs> you know, like I, I just like I just cannot. It looks weird to me, so I didn't read any comic book. I'm also not a big fan of superhero or stuff like that. Okay. I actually didn't read anything on my childhood earlier, but recently uh, I love manga actually more than comic book. And my favorite are definitely Berserk and the Vagabond. Special Vagabond, man, is it's so good. I highly recommend it. It's Miyamoto Musashi, uh, Sasaki Kojiro, I believe. The Japan two famous Japanese samurai. It's a uh, Kind of their story, a little bit more uh, supernatural stuff, but it's amazing. Highly recommend it. Okay, okay. Uh, and Dav, what about you? Hey, you know, I'm a huge nerd. X Men, X Men is really good because it is about when you are an outsider, etc. But my favorite um, anti-hero actually it's Hellboy. Okay. Hellboy is Dark Horse. It's Dark Horse comic book, and it is about teaching you that the outside is not everything because he's like you know he's like a big big guy but it's a it's a cuddly person who loves cats and okay. etc by us of movies i was five years old when my brothers tried to scare me with the predator movie and i immediately fa fell in love with science fiction so, so since i was like five six i read and watch a lot of science fiction tape books Okay. Uh, anything science fiction. All right. Oh, yeah. I love them, too. <laughs> yeah. All right. As for myself, I guess I kind of fall in the same boat with X-Men. Um, but for me, it was actually Cyclops. That was, like, my favorite uh, kind of go-to. Uh, yeah. it, 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 it's just, like, there was nothing he could never take on, right? Um, but X-Men was definitely one of my favorite ones. I remember I actually I had a whole collection over, like, 90 comic books from like every different uh series that they did and when i moved out my mother left them in the attic and when she moved from her house she never took them oh, so i lost damn. them all you but know what's <laughs> a really really good show um justice league unlimited i still rewatch it oh. um it's brilliant that, that uh, tv show I've, I've watched pretty much all of the justice league young justice type yeah. stuff i'm I, I do love a lot of the dc stuff um all right so let's get back into the centranos now uh ken what about you how how far have you been pushing into centranos have you been have you i mean been usually i'm and usually i'm ended up uh 
like 10 stage left stuff like that you know last 10 stage on the s level unless like i believe it was like two rotation behind before i think maybe last rotation i think two rotation ago the s8 i believe was so annoying which is the gate like if yep. you cannot beat that floor you cannot pass it you know uh, yeah i stuck on this one like i didn't see reason to push further you know give my arena champion gear stuff like that this rotation i handled that but I stuck on the S20 actually. I almost gonna beat the S20, but looks like I need to give my Arena Champion gear. Maybe gonna try when the free gear swap uh, coming, so maybe I can push it a bit further. But still no 100%. Like, yeah. Okay. Um, chat, real quick too. If you have questions uh, that you want us to answer, we have a designated person now that is going to be taking the questions and forwarding to me just because I'm trying to keep track of everything. So. Feel free to DM them to Mr. Zero Brew, um, and you can either do it during <laughs> Discord or <laughs> Twitch. Um, unfortunately, YouTube does not allow us to, but if you have any questions, send them to him, and we will get to answering them. Um, yeah, good luck with that. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, Mr. G Mills, what about you, brother? How, how have you been taking Centranos? Yeah, I I take it very lightly. I I've definitely finished uh, Amius uh, every rotation, but I haven't been I haven't pushed hard at all into Soul. I finished everything but Soul Cross, and I get as far as I can get without going crazy, swapping gear and stuff. I don't I don't particularly. I've said this before. I don't particularly love. Uh, I don't love this type of content. I was I was begging for it not to be just wave content um and it was so i just don't it's i just don't want to throw a whole bunch of champs and uh stun gear or swapping out my best gear onto other champs to try to get through stuff uh, i don't i don't really find it that fun okay okay so i don't push that hard on it all right pj what about you how hard have you been going for this i was definitely way more hype um when it first dropped than now uh, I've gotten probably around 10 stages left, plus or minus a few, depending on the stage. I beat Amius each time, but last time I used, like, Blizzard to cheese it. Um, <laughs> probably will cheese it with uh, Godseeker this time. Uh, I don't know, maybe this will be easier, but... Yeah, I don't know. Uh, Soul Cross is, yeah, where I'm struggling. I'm willing to regear a few champions, but this might just be, like, a like a my issue but after a while even with the free gear removal it becomes tedious swapping them back and forth and back and forth and remembering which gear is on the original champion um so yeah i don't know i was liking it more in the beginning now it's kind of just like i get what i can and do a little bit extra if i can but not much okay okay um meta what about you how hard have you been hitting centranos Super hard, man. <laughs> I just, I just nerd as hard as I can. I'm, uh, I'm gonna spend if there's if they give us three days of free gear removal, I'm gonna spend 25 hours doing all I can basically to try and push as hard as I can. So last time I went 90 rooms and um, I went so, <laughs> I went so crazy. I would build five champs with retaliation and relentless and refresh just to beat one boss. Takes ages, but um, yeah, I'm just. Ply I'm really something, I I have to clear it. I'm I'm not the master. I don't I don't take decision. Ply I'm does. <laughs> okay. Okay. So going at it pretty hard. Um Mr. H dub, what about you, man? Um, I honestly hadn't had much time to do it. So I like the first rotation I pushed a, a quite a bit and then I did my sponsorship. So I had to, you know, learn a, a new game and then put out three months worth of content. So I haven't, like, I might go into Curse City and do the first few stages every now and then, but I have I actually haven't done any of the other rotations at all. Oh, okay. Uh, Zero, what about you? Yeah, so, I, you know, I get stuck at, like, S, S6. I feel like the way they designed that one gate, it's like, Hey, we're going to design this whole thing where you can go any different round. If you get stuck one place, you can go around, you know, whatever. And then it's like, okay, but you have to go through S6 and we're going to give you the, like this, this terrible pool to pick from. 
And I just refuse to go through the spending a hundred million silver to swap out gear just to, you know, gear up the three champions they're going to let me do to to fight it. Um, again, I do enjoy the content because I am just slowly leveling up champions because God knows we got champion training every three seconds to do in the game. So I am leveling up champs that I never would have leveled up uh, probably at the time. So that part of it's cool. So I'm just. I'm a completionist on most everything, but I refuse to spend 100 million silver just to to beat the last you know 20 stages of the thing. So yeah, we do normal, then we beat Amius, and the and the one time I didn't beat Amius was because I didn't want to regear my Mortar Macabre, and they gave me, and they gave us two gear cleanses that that rotation. <laughs> I was like, yeah, I, I'm just lazy, I guess. I don't know, okay. uh, but I also don't like to rush through. I kind of like to take my time and enjoy it a little bit too. So, you know, if I get stuck at S6, I'm like, okay, cool, we'll we'll, we'll do this and I'll, I'll look forward to, you know, you know, completing it 100% sometime in the future and I'll get carnage when I get carnage, you know what I mean? Okay. Um, so I'm going to I'm going to really shout out here sus real quick. Roadblock at S6 commons only. I don't think <laughs> I, I, like I I swear like if that happens, you will never get any account take work from me again. Uh, <laughs> but no, all joking aside. So myself, first and Tranos, I've really been pushing it. I am a lot like Zero. I am a completionist. Other than the first rotation where I was short by one stage, I have completed every single rotation since then. Um, I can't tell you how many champions I've had to build for it, which I guess has been kind of fun and engaging. And looking at this rotation, I'm kind of like, all right. I was like, well, now I can start doing a gear cleanse because I've been holding on to a lot of gear that, uh, you know, I could possibly build some sets with to try not to rip off because it is. I mean, I've probably spent close to 400 million silver trying to complete Centranos. And let's face it, the, the, the rewards that I'm getting are decent, but they don't make up the cost in time. But this week, we got a little bit of a, an update on what they're going to be doing, right? Uh, and so they are actually going to be changing every single rotation. Now, we are going to have five rotations, and each rotation has a different filter. So basically, um, I want to see if I can find it here, but we have, uh, you know, diff different rotations. So it's never going to be the same one. So it's not like it's going to be rotation one is going to be the same. So we could have rotation one with the filters from any one of the five rotations which i guess is good and bad because it's still going to keep things a little interesting i'm still going to have to build some more champions and stuff like that it's going to make us think a little more but i want to get your take on this is this something you expected them to do like could this actually keep this content fresh or is it really dead content already in the water let's go ahead and start it off with zero brew yeah, so I'm an analyst at heart. Like, that's just what I do. Like, a part of me on this decision is, hold on one second. All right, sorry. I thought he was Kiddos. about to dab right there. Oh, yeah, no. <laughs> she has to wait. She knows what's going on. What's, what's going on right now? Uh, but after I answer this question, I'll go deal with that. But anyway, so, so I'm an analyst at heart. So, like, a part of me is like, okay, cool. Um nothing's going to kind of stay st stagnant, right? We're going to have like this resetting thing. The The only concern that I have is I don't know if they have play tested the idea enough. In fact, I would, I would argue they probably haven't play tested the idea so much because not all faction is created equal and not all, you know, they don't have, it's not like all the factions have, you know, the right balance or whatever and and they're still building out you know sylvan watchers right now and i just feel like they may inadvertently create some really hard content by this random selection of stuff versus something that's been pre-programmed out and tested so that's that's kind of like all my uh yeah we are the play, play testers as far as she says 100 but um yeah, I don't know. I, I, I So part of me is like, cool, we're going to get some random stuff. It won't stay stagnant. However, it could cause a whole bunch of uh, issues. Okay. All right. Um, so I, I guess what you're saying right there is this player actually play their game. Uh, doesn't look like it, right? 
Um, let's go with H Dub. What about you, man? Do you think this is going to keep the content fresh, or is it just kind of over and done with? I mean, I don't think the content was ever fresh, to be honest. <laughs> okay, brutal, <laughs> right from the rip. Let's go. I think you know what you've done is what you do best, right? As Polarium, you've brought in some something to be coveted, right? So we've got a champion we're all chasing now. We've got these milestones we want to hit. But it's it's not anything we haven't seen in the game before. So, you know, this idea of different rotations or just endless rotations, right? We, you know, there are rotations of Hydra, there are rotations of Doom Tower. I expected this to keep changing. They have to keep challenging those that are able to complete uh, Curse City, right? So, right, they're gonna have to continue. Like there, there can be no set rotations of this, or they they're going to continue to lose long-term players, right? The people that come in and complete this every time, the moment that they get carnage, it instantly becomes dead content if it wasn't dead already. So they they have to keep those guys engaged. Other people, I'm I'm a filthy casual now, man. So I'd go in like, I, you know, I'm, I'm back playing Raid full-time now. So yes, I'll go look at Curse City. I'll see what I, I can complete. You know, now I'm excited to jump in and see what's up, but... Is it fresh? Is it keeping it fresh? No, I, I can't say that this is fresh content, man. It's the, it's the same content. Okay, okay. Uh, and I, I'm with you on the whole thing after Carnage is released. Um, I, yeah, a lot of the player base isn't going to be. I think so far, there's only like 120 players uh, worldwide that have completed every single rotation um which you know i guess we'll find out as soon as uh people can collect carnage you know what what people uh have actually cleared it but um meta what about you man what what do you think could this uh could this filter save raid or save uh centranos i mean i like the idea of for a gacha game i like the idea of having to having to build um, plenty plenty of champions and build them accordingly to defeat content. That's a lot of work. I'll take it as a, as a challenge, but um, I feel like what what uh, Zero Bruce said is that Plyme didn't test it in the sense that, as it's shown on screen now, uh, the five rotations were data mined, and now they're telling us that's actually going to be, going to be random. So my bet is that uh, <laughs> they kind of improvised on it. And we'll still be able to data mine, so kind of anyways, uh, be able to see what's coming to us and prepare for it. Okay. I don't know, man. I feel like I feel like the the war is happening in Hydra Clash. Sin City is just dead already. Okay. Fair assessment. Fair assessment. Uh, PJ, what about you? What do you think? Um, I think that this is going to, I guess, keep the. Krakens and big players, if they want to continue to 100% it to maybe build a few extra champions. But I think the majority of champions you built out already are going to be used for these stages. I don't know exactly how many new champions. If you've already completed every stage, you'll need to build. Um, and yeah, this rotation, completing this rotation, you'll be able to get Carnage. Uh, so it'll be interesting to see after this rotation what, what they do if, if people decide to not do any more. Um, it's gonna be a while until like the average person gets him, but I guess the Krakens will be a big tell for what probably. I mean, I don't know. The Krakens, I guess, see what they want to do, but um, it'll be interesting to see what they do and then what the the rest of the player base does once they get them. Okay. All right. Uh, Gestel. Yeah, I I kind of take it the way uh, Meta did. The um, it seems like it's almost like they're shifting it to try and get people more interested in it. I feel like that it was almost like a a way to justify them making some of those crazy difficult ones in in Soul Cross a little bit more manageable, especially because like you're off affinity on a couple of them. Um, so maybe this is a way for them to change that. Uh, I kind of feel like it was an afterthought. I think this five rotations is what they were really expecting it to be like and they were and this was kind of a pivot which is honestly it could be a good thing it could make some of these uh some of these uh rotations a little more manageable so we'll see we'll see what it looks like okay okay uh ken so it's not going to be totally random right so 
So, it's so for way. example, S19 on the rotation one, I think maybe, let's say maybe, going to be like appear on the S4, right? I mean, rotation four. Right. So it's supposed to be randomized, the whole thing. So we could come rotation one, and you can see here, like on S9, we have Sacred Odo, Orgrin, or Lizardman. Yeah, but it could be any one of these during rotation one. Yeah, so but I, I guess champion on the floor or the, their affinity or the recruitment for it, not going to be changed, right? No. So the filters are basically okay. so like for, you know, we have attack support for S9, defense support, HP support, attack support, mm -hmm. and HP support. Okay. So it could be any one of those filters at any given, you know, rotation that we go through. That's definitely better than total random because, you know, like you guys said earlier, we built lots of champion for the these floors. I did that, for example, I said like, hey, if I cannot beat at this rotation, I can try on the next one, right? Mm -hmm. I can I can be get more strong gear, you know, I can come back stronger. So it's still not a lose, guys, if you build a champion for that. I actually personally like the idea. Uh, instead of to like exactly the same rotation, this is actually kind of random, which is you never know what's coming next, you know, so I'm okay with that. I personally enjoy the curiosity. Uh, I don't see reason to go hard, guys, push hard, like, unless you guys, like, super hard, high veil, you know, Kraken, want the carnage on the day one. Everybody gonna get a carnage one day. I know it's gonna take some time, like, it's for me, like, I only beat an Amuse on the hard difficulty so far, so for us, it's going to take, like, five more months, right? Mm -hmm. Not end of the dirt. Not end of the world. I personally thinking. Uh, Kirsty is more like uh, farming cruels, uh, my bad, merciless gear, you know, merciless is very nice gear. Mythical charm, lots of free stuff there, so... No. Yeah, I agree with the HW, it's not like new content, it's basically like same content we are doing on the dungeon, Doom Tower. It's just like, instead of new bosses, we have like double bosses, right? It's it's fun, but uh, it's a challenge actually. But yeah, it's not. I agree with that. Like, it's not totally new content. It's not like something like, you know, different mobile game has like Rift, Void Rift, you know, stuff mm -hmm. like that. This literally different play style. Uh, <clears throat> but obviously, this kind of stuff need uh, lots of work. I guess, Pilgrim. Don't okay. do it. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah. No. Fair point. Fair point. Uh, Daf, what about you? Well, like I said, I look at this place as the Loot Palace. Doom Tower was Loot Palace for me too, but recently, like two weeks ago, finally, I could finish Hard Doom Tower, first time ever. Uh, I like that Curcity is teaching people. In my opinion, people trashing me a lot, but I always say that there is no bad champion. You know, you can use any champion for anything. Probably it comes from, because when I started playing it for half a year, I didn't have a reviver, no Lego anything i haven't put anything so i had to really grind hard and i i like this adrenaline rush in uh, curse city because obviously i have uh, i have a bunch of champions to build anyways uh because i've been pulling that uh, goes like crazy and i need the resources um i uh, i think it's good that in a way you can a little bit um like prepare like okay it's random but in a way a little bit you know you know where to improve more like when the first rotation when the whole thing first started i was so stuck at the second boss it was um the frost spider i i, I wasn't able what to use i didn't have block rip champion no burners i was totally stuck but then yeah. you know i put someone and i know okay this is not food i i am using a rare uh ghoul I don't know what's his name for burn, and it's working. You know, it 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 taught me a little bit more about the game, about really reading through the. So I'm thinking about it like as a new player, you know. Cause okay, I, you are you are all old. I'm not, <laughs> but I I enjoy it. Obviously, it's a mixture of Doom Tower and and the dungeons with a twist. But I I enjoy it. I'm okay. not going crazy if I'm stuck. So you're you're that. just playing it as it is, and it's still enjoyable because exactly. you still get to I have some fun. Exactly, I can do fun. what I can do. Exactly. Okay. Okay. Fair. Hey, you know, uh, as for myself, as somebody who's completed everything, and you know, uh, again, besides that one stage S twenty on rotation one, I'm very close to getting Carnage, and I can. I feel like even with this, and I, I was reading some of the chat. It's going to become a whole kind of cherry pick what gives me the best rewards. And then I get done what I get done because 
I don't think after Carnage, we have anything that really is going to encourage me to spend that 50, 60, 70 million silver to try to get it, right? I mean, you need to get his soul. True. And we're going to actually touch up on that right now. Now, after we do get Carnage, uh, so for anybody who's actually wondering, these are kind of the rotation filters so, that are, are going to be working. So, you know, month one or rotation one, we could have the filters from, you know, rotation four or five or, or so on. Uh, now, I don't know if they're going to, like, kind of pick, like, um, so for Amius, rotation one, they'll go with, you know, this one. And then the same rotation, they'll go with this one or this one. They haven't really explained how that's going to work. But what we know of is that there's the five filters and it's just going to be randomized of which one is going to come up at any given time. Um, now, as for, you know, after Carnage, after we acquire Carnage, Yes, we are going to be able to get the chest to get some of the extra little rewards, such as his soul, uh, souls, right? But the thing is, his souls can still be summoned, if I'm not mistaken, through the portal, right? They're not locked into this. So I could essentially... If I'm I, not sure about that. Because um, I, I don't read anything here that says it's locked just behind this. I haven't right. seen where it says it's locked. I mean, nobody I've pulled him yet, so... Correct. Yeah, I've seen a yeah. lot of you... mythicals being pulled, and nobody's pulled them, yeah. but I've seen. Okay. Yeah, because you can't put... It does, his soul isn't going to be in the pool until you have the champ. Maybe okay. that's what it is. Okay, so... It says it right there. Oh, yeah? Um, yeah, his name is next to Xena. It says, souls for the following champs will be added to the summoning pool when you have them in your collection. Okay. So same for Doom oh, Tower okay. champs, all those champs that you can't get without completion. So the other question who is empowering? You can uh, can you see? Uh I don't think No, you can't. They haven't they haven't told us that yet. I guess there's only yeah, one I, I asked them, no response yet. There there is only one <laughs> champion. <laughs> they don't know. Right? Because he's a he's a demon spawn. So I, that is a good question. I guess maybe that's going to be how that's just, oh. <laughs> that you know what? Like hey, that. Encore is better. Encore is better. I'm fine with it. I'll feed my Duchess. Crazy. Everybody just thumbs yeah, down. The, everybody just thumbs <laughs> down the live stream, saying, "I haven't had a touch in four years, and you're gonna feed her." Um, <laughs> but you know, maybe I guess that's gonna be kind of the twist of how they get us to still do Centranos. But I feel like after we get this guy, I don't have any reason to to really go for as hard as I've been going for Centranos. Now. I guess, let me ask you, what could, because after the rewards that we get here, these are all gone, and then you're going to be putting in a lot of work just to get, a, you know, what, what is it? The possible rewards are pretty blah, right? 200k silver. Yeah, yeah exactly. 200k, 200k silver in a rare book or a three-day XP brew. Or even better, you get 50 multi-battles. I don't know if I want to put that much work into doing it i mean even some of the rewards here like possible rewards I, I don't see myself wanting to do all this work for a five-star chicken or even a mythical book to be honest right because it's not it's not like we're guaranteed to get one of these souls every single time so mm -hmm. my question that i'm going to pose to you guys is if you've already gotten carnage what would actually draw you back into doing centranos or is it absolutely not going to happen um, let's start with zero. Yeah, so I, I again, I, I like the content, um, and I'm already not going ham to get him as fast as possible. So I think it's just part of my rotation, part of my daily stuff. Um, and I've said it to I'm blue in the face. I wish it would speed up other parts of the game so that you can, you know, feel like you can get everything accomplished in a reasonable amount of time in the, in the daytime. Um, not spend 18 hours in, in raid every single day to get everything completed. Um, but uh, yeah, I think I would just keep doing it as part of my part of my daily rotation and stuff. And again, like um, I'm, I'm looking at it now because we got artifact enhancement, but like I'm I never built out my martyr that I've pulled, so I'm building out martyr because she's eligible for that S uh, six where I'm currently stuck or whatever. Mm -hmm. So it's like it, I do like the fact that it forces me to you know take these decent champions. That I just never needed to build because I can just throw my Tarasa Mrishkin or whatever and 
and go from there, you know? But yeah, I think I'll just, I'll keep, keep doing it. Uh, yeah, even once I get Carnage, you know, obviously getting the souls will, will be helpful too. So. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh, I like how I like how you just put the Taurus Marichka in there as like uh, you know the goal all two. By the way, I just pulled Taurus like three weeks ago, so <laughs> I had to flex a yeah. teeny <laughs> tiny bit. <laughs> I've been zero flexing. Now I'm minuscule flexing. Okay, okay. Um, <laughs> let's go, H Dub. What are your thoughts, man? Like, what after I you get Carnage? I, uh, I think after I get Carnage, if they do something about the gear drops, like if maybe we don't get five star gear anymore from hard or something like that i'd be willing to go in because i was you know this question just made me think about okay why am i still doing doom tower secret rooms exactly even though i have all the champs and i thought about it, i was like oh i'm only doing it because i want to farm a particular set a ton of times um and so you know i go do all the secret rooms at the end get those keys back from there they give a, a few drops of what what is it uh you get a few materials from there to forge more so maybe i'm just doing it for the gear so if they you know no more five star gear on hard mode i'd be willing to go in and do some centronos okay hey let me tell you something i got a question a couple of days ago on the stream somebody asked me do you think they are gonna release a neve level on the heart dungeon like 20 heart dungeon for example do you know what I said? I don't know they are going to release it, but I'm pretty sure we are still going to get a five-star rare from the 20 level hard dungeon. <laughs> yep. exactly. um, you know what? Yeah. You know what, Ken, actually? I think they are going to do that because if you look, pay attention to the bosses, they are awakened at halfway, and so potentially the boss still have room for three-star of ascension. Why not? I mean, it's, you know, it's just there. That 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 is definitely something uh and i I'm, I'm i'm curious to see how it's going to work but i think we we've definitely debated the subject about the five star gear in uh some of this higher end stuff and i think and shout out to um our boy nacho who's been a, a real big proponent of you know breaking down everything for us and calling us out on it because he's probably right if they did remove the five star gear then the energy threshold and everything else that we would need would be way, way higher. But, um, and, and we, we, we are kind of capped at like the 130 energy that we can get. Uh, they, they've told us that they're not going to give us more energy um, than that. They're just, they're not going to increase the cap. They're just going to be promoting and giving us a little more energy throughout the day. Uh, but Meta, what about you, man? Well, I'll, I'll do it for the gear, if not for the rewards. I'm, I'm F2P, so all the things that I see are very appealing to me. Maybe it matters less if you spend uh, money in this game, but talking about the uh, twin stuff and Chaos R, that's that's what I'm on about mostly. Okay. But um, yeah, I'll just keep farming the, the Merciless as much as I can. Okay. All right. Um, PJ. Um, yeah, once you get Carnage, uh... It would be cool if they either added another champion or added um, Merciless and Supersonic Forge materials um, so we could forge it. Uh, as far uh, I think depending on how hard it is for me to clear the waves consistently, because I'm still using a lot of my best nuking gear on the champions to clear the waves, so if I have to continue to keep swapping back and forth, I'll probably be more lazy after I get them. Um, but I'll still try to do as much as I can. Like, it's still good rewards. Um, it's raid. I mean, I'm, I like playing raid. I like doing the things in the game. So I'm still going to do it after I get Carnage. But hopefully they'll add uh, some extra stuff on, like, once you complete it. Okay. Okay. Um, G Mills. Uh, yeah, I'll I'll continue to do it for sure. I think the gear is pretty solid. Um and i don't necessarily mind doing it a lot of the floors are relatively easy so i feel like you can just kind of go in there and you just got to click through eight of them pick eight and a lot of them are already preloaded with champs that you already got and stuff uh or teams that you already set up so uh, yeah i think i'll probably like i'll treat it like doom tower i'll just uh, it's something i'll do every day like i i tend to hit that new or relatively new button up top to see like how many keys i got left and if there's something that's like super easy to finish like why not go do it so that's kind of how i approach it okay okay uh ken 
I agree with the guest style. I believe for the end game player, like 90%, maybe 85% of the Kirsty is just like plays like two champion there, full auto. You know, like Monkey, for example, Monkey can clear like a couple of uh, floor with no problem alone. Uh, only like uh, when you go S tier, you know, Soul Cross is getting challenged. I will still uh, going to farm and uh, enjoy the content after I got a Carnage. My biggest uh, aim is the beating the Amuse on the heart. I actually don't know why I'm, I'm still gonna do that. Actually, we are getting Remnant mm, yeah. for the beating the Amuse. Yeah, it's it's definitely worth it. The uh, second one, I actually really want to kill the S17, the Fire Knight one. The reward on that floor is amazing, man. One thousand yeah. Eternal Coin. Yeah, I I really want to kill that dude on the all rotation if I can. Fair, fair. I do. Uh, those those two stages are probably the most valuable in Centranos, uh, being able to get that big boy soul stone and the possibility of not having to pull a rare champion out of a summoning event, Plarium, Prisms, Primals, come on, um, is very, very big, right? Um, Miss Daffodil. Yeah, like everyone has this resources. Even if I would finish it, I, I would steal. Um, and for the Forge and then the Glyphs. I mean, you get all really good stuff. I'm not free to play. Everyone knows that. But I steal, you know, resource is resource. I would still do it. Um, but it um, would be great to add, like, shards um, as for all the harder stages, okay. I think. Uh, okay. would encourage people maybe grind a little bit more that's what they want to achieve right even the newer players because if you if you see something oh, I really want that like, boy child you go crazy even if you are free to play uh, don't say you are not because you say oh it's a resource I need it I, I need it yeah. so I would definitely I would definitely still like farming it For and the gear is good yes I have I think two champions in Supersonic okay so yeah Right. So, so again, if uh, it sounds like the consensus is people would just farm it for particular stages because it, it's, it feels like it's just going to be dead. Now, I guess I want to ask you guys, Plarium pushed this and said it's going to be bigger than Doom Tower. Now, I know me and HLEZ did actually a, a collab about this a while back about this being bigger than Doom Tower, and we had really, really high hopes for this. Now, did this meet your bigger than Doom Tower hopes? Let's start with Daffodil first. Well, to me, even Doom Tower is not a big thing, <laughs> to be honest. Like, again, you farm, I farm what I can. Um, most of the normal difficulty by Zeno can solo it, so I just. You know, every day you just go there, you collect what you can. Why would it be big? Okay, it has a new type of boss. Okay, how many of us can currently do it? You is not end game player. Like it's a good challenge, but I don't think it's itself. What you got out of it is better. There, are, there's only one rotation in Doom Tower. I farm is dark way because I finally am able to do it. But otherwise, Doom Tower is again for me. It's not something I would I farm, but. City in a way, yeah, it's a bit better, but I wouldn't say like Okay, so so they they did they deliver on their you know quote unquote bigger than Doom Tower for you? No, definitely not. Okay. I remember when anxiously we were looking at and waiting when it's open and then it opened, and you know easily. I mean, I personally was surprised how easily I could do half of it, and then yeah, I went to stages and I'm like, okay, I can't do it anymore. Okay. So was yeah, disappointing a little bit, yes. But right. the route is loot. Okay, okay. No complaints. <laughs> uh Ken, what about you, man? Was the deliverance of bigger than Doom Tower actually all you expected? I mean Terup, it's bigger than Doom Tower. <laughs> Doom Tower is under twenty <laughs> floor. This is has a more, so <laughs> This is 101, Ken. What do you mean? <laughs> you're you're really? tired today. Yeah, yeah. Oh, tired. no. It's fine. Oh, my mathematics is uh, bad, guys. I'm sorry. Chat, let me well, know. They... Was this actually bigger than Doom Tower for you? Did they deliver on this? Um... I mean, my expectation was low. Okay. You know, so... Whenever I see the content first time, I got very hype, actually. And I, I got what I expect, to be honest. 
I wasn't expect anything more than that. I was expect actually seeing the new bosses instead of just one boss. But double boss idea is not that terrible, you know. Like it's quite a fun actually. Uh, so even they are the same boss, I still love to. They are limiting us to use the some to be champion. We never beat them before, you know. And uh, yeah, trying different tactic, but. Sometimes it's getting annoying, like Scarab King, for example. Like I spent like ten minutes on the like Friday, I believe, just put some champion on the blood shield because I don't want to regear them with uh, destroy set. Mm -hmm. So I just spent ten minutes to kill the Scarab King. Yeah, some of the bosses are just hard to deal with them, you know, if you don't have a champion. And yeah, it's just time consuming. But time consuming is a good thing for me because I'm streaming like six hour a day uh, six five hours six seven eight hour actually and it's not that easy to stream that long guys with your daily energy so yeah 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 uh ken I'm, I'm looking at a lot of the chat here and <laughs> the moment you said you can't have high expectations with Plarium, everybody is agreeing with you um g mills what are, what, what are your thoughts man uh has it reached yeah my expectations were low like as i said i I, I was really earlier i was really hoping that this would not be just wave content over like i was really hoping they'd come up with something just a little more exciting something like hydra came out like no it was fairly unexpected i guess at least for me it was uh and cool and fairly innovative for this type of genre um uh you know a couple of things were cool amius is a fun fight i don't i like that fight i, I think it was it was a pretty good fight uh, I like the double bosses. Um, they can be fairly difficult on some of them, you know, for uh, later game accounts and game accounts. Uh, and it's a cool idea, and I definitely like that they took out the waves prior to those bosses. Um, but yeah, ninety-eight percent of it is wave content, and uh, you know, it's like doing secret rooms all over again uh, for me. So uh, yeah, it, it certainly didn't. It my expectation was low. Did it meet it? Uh, yeah, I guess it met my low expectation. I guess. <laughs> okay. Okay. All right. Uh, so so far we're we're three down. Um, let's see. Maybe Mr. PJ has a different uh, opinion. What about you, man? Um, bigger than Doom Tower. I mean, it's more rotations than Doom Tower. So could you say it's bigger because it has more rotations? I mean, not more rooms, but <laughs> more rotations. So kind of bigger that way. Um, kind of just feels like it's like a Doom Tower 1.5, uh, like a little upgrade with um, them saying you have control over the path, but there's still major um, like cock block points where you can't get through. Um, especially into like Soul Cross, I wish there was like a way from Dead Rise into Soul Cross as well, and not just the because there's like three major um points with that that can cause a lot of issues i think maybe even four that like uh choke you choke cold you there um i mean the gear is nice you get this you get some pretty good gear from doom tower as well i, don't know, I guess the only way you could say is bigger is the rotations but i don't know i wish they like, they said that you get, like, your own freedom, and you do, but they still kind of, like, guide you down certain paths. I wish there was more more freedom of which way you could you could go. Okay. Okay. Um, let's go. Meadow, talk to me. Well, it's bigger flex for sure. <laughs> um, it's bigger challenge. But I feel like they kind of... it's. I feel like just artificialized... Artificially uh, challenging. In the sense that they just face you against uh, weak affinity champions or whatever, whatever that is. To me, in my eyes, the only thing that's refreshing in the in Sin City is the Amius boss. I mean, it's more of the same, right? With the waves and the bosses and the Doom Tower, nothing surprising. But Amius has different mechanics, and I just hope that they can work more towards this way. Like with the, uh, it's a bit bullshitty, the Amius cooldown thing, but it's at least it's something new that they're trying. And yeah, I really do enjoy Amius. The rest is just more of the same to me. Okay. All right. I think Nobo's got the right idea here. He says, uh, you can say it's way more restrictive than Doom Tower. So in that way, it's a way bigger pain in the rear end. Uh, 
I guess that makes sense. Yeah. It, it, it is ba- it is bigger in that sense. The uh, weak affinity stuff is so annoying. That That is 100% true. The weak affinity stuff actually complete sucks. Um, it's it, more than 35, man. Come on, man. Like, yeah. I don't believe it's a 35 percent. Yeah. You ever heard of girl math? I feel like Polarium has their own kind of math. Like, it's Polarium <laughs> math. <laughs> What's interesting uh, also with Amius is that he's a uh, he's got way higher crit rate than any other uh, content in PvE. He's got fifty percent crit rate. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, he crit a lot. I don't. I wonder why they didn't. Maybe they didn't have time, or they want they urgently needed players to to be busy with something, getting carnage, and yeah. Yeah. Maybe they did. I don't know. You see what I'm getting? Um. I mean, Amius is definitely a lot more challenging than some of the other stages, but I I feel like there's one particular stage that they kind of took a little more to it, but um, we'll touch on to that in just a second. But HWZ, man, what what about you? Did they deliver? Um, No, No, because, you know, the way I see it, I I guess we can look at this from two standpoints, right? You can look at it. From the point of is it more or less levels is it more or less content but i i thought your question was alluding to you know did they hype it up did it live up to the hype right that's kind of what you're getting at mm-hmm. um and i don't i don't think they did just because you know doom tower um was something that was on one of the original like road maps that content creators got so this is something that people were looking forward to for years you know before it came out same with hydra right content creators were aware that there was a hydra boss being worked on but no one ever knew when it was coming out and then like you know we got it around that time where you know Rayzilla came out we got right. hydra ball and so centrano's it wasn't like we had like a two two years of like yo where is this content what is this going to be we can see it in game like there used to be a void tower in game and we were like, dude, when is this opening? You know, Centrano's kind of came how a lot of the thing, you know, updates come, right? We we got it, what, not too far. Like, it was teased in the, the video that they did with Ash. And then we got some visuals for it. And then it came out. And, you know, it was, like a lot of people have said here, just a, 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 a rework of Doom Tower. Doom Tower. So... Yeah, I, I, it, it didn't live up to my expectations. I will admit I did have fun clicking in a new space when I opened this game at first. But, you know, I'll go and I'll get my rewards and, and that'll be that, man. It's, it's just not anything crazy. Nothing okay. to get excited about. Okay. Um, Zero, did they deliver? Uh, so many different takes. Uh, I think... In my opinion, they did, um, and I'm only looking at it from the perspective of in Doom Tower now, I have like two or three teams, and I just set it and forget it, and I don't even have to think about it, and I just clear the waves, and and it's done, right? Like, it just, I just, you know, plow through it. I've got the teams that can kind of handle, handle most stuff, and, um, and with this, at least it forces the rotation of the, and I kind of go back to that as, you know, making champs you would never have built uh, at least semi-relevant for, for this other content. So in that sense, I think it's bigger because it requires a bigger champion pool. Um, but other than that one specific thing, I would I would agree with most of the people who say, no, they didn't deliver this. Um, and they could have done so much more with it. Um, again, the, the dual boss mechanic, and that's been brought up several times tonight, uh, or today is cool. It's cool, but then it's also a pain. The a pain in the butt. Like it's like, hey, we're gonna give you a bunch of non multi hitters and give you Fire Knight, you know, hard. <laughs> and and ooh, that's a challenging. Like I just think they went wrong with the way they did. The weak affinities is another example. I know that was already brought up, right? So it's like, I, I guess if you force these, you know mechanics that are core to your game from that perspective and you force it to be harder content but yet the boss isn't as hard um yeah so i guess that's the rub right it's like yes they 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 did in some as some aspects and kind of no they didn't it's like blah. okay with the way they did it i, I feel like they could have just done done better stuff um versus hey yeah we're gonna give you weak all weak affinities and good luck trying to trying to deal with that. 
Uh, it doesn't feel so. like it's anything new. Yeah. Agreed. Agreed. Yeah. Uh, and then, and then, like again, I go back to yeah, the sure you gave you this thing. Well, like if you get stuck in this one area, you can just bypass it and go. You know, well, no, because they still put the you know the bridges or whatever in there, and they you know s s six s eight or whatever, and they you know, block you. So, so uh, I, 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 kudos for them trying to think outside the box with the mechanics that they have built into the game, right? And they made ascension at least semi relevant because you have to have certain champs that are ascended. I know a lot of people early on in the game were like, well, I'm never going to ascend. I, yeah, I got a four or five star, but I'd rather sell it and get a chance to pull something I really need versus this, you know, four or five, you know, soul on, on this one person. But now souls are at least more relevant because it's like, oh, this crappy epic, who cares if I got a six star soul for them? I'm never going to use them. Oh, well, now we have to have this. And they're one of the six champions you can pick to get you above the, you know, the 15 or the 20 you know, ascension ranks to even challenge the map type thing. So I don't know. I give them credit for trying to make the phase rollout of their game mechanics relevant in an area of content. So, so from that perspective, again, increasing their champion pool or your, your champion pool. But yeah, it, like PJ said, it's kind of flat content. It's kind of the same stuff. Okay. Um, and I feel like they could have chosen a little bit better things than we and okay so here's the thing i feel like we they had a huge opportunity with this game mode to make it so much better than what it is and it, it really defines to just this one thing they basically did off affinities for everything that's how they challenged us they challenged us by by putting enough stun sets out and right here is a perfect example I've got multi single target, or not multi hitters, but everybody here is magic affinity, single hitter. And the thing is, how do they expect me to go through UDK, right? Affinity breaker. <laughs> mm -hmm. Not gonna lie. Actually, I think. Not gonna lie, affinity breaker has been coming in kind of clutch in some areas of the game. Okay. I actually, <laughs> hey, I, hey, actually I don't know what you're talking about. It. I actually did farm the last rotation. I, I use it on Ugo and Hydra, my nightmare team. Um, but I use like sis here. Yeah, I mean it's it's literally mind bottling of what they thought was going to be bigger than Doom Tower, and I had really high expectations because Doom Tower. I mean, I think it took me six months before I was able to complete every single rotation because it was that challenging, right? And I know I was one of the first ones and really quickly went back and eating my words and saying that, listen, this content is weak. It's really easy in the beginning. And that's what I kind of felt like. But the challenge is not being able to think outside the box with champions that I can bring in. It's how am I not going to weak hit, right? And a big thing is, is on stage 21 here, you're going to have... And this was last rotation where it was all AOE hitters forced champions against the two Mortus. This was one of the most difficult and pain in the ass stages. And I feel like they, the floors themselves are worse than Amius, right? We've got content creators. Go ahead. Uh, I was going to say, I beat it. I beat, I beat it very quick. This one. <laughs> <laughs> this Sounds rotation. <laughs> No, the previous one. Really? Um, yeah. It was for me. It was quite challenging because I had to do a lot of stun sets because it was all AOE and more to just. It seems like he just kept paralleling time and time and time and just killing me. Um, I didn't just. Key, I guess. What did you say again? I I, I said I guess I got lucky because <laughs> I used lots of provoke sets and lots of lots of um, CC pretty much. I went full CC at it. I think you could use even uh, this guy that stuns uh, Burangiri. Lots of Relentless is very good there. Um, CC champions in Relentless kind of cheese your way out of it. Yeah, yeah, but it, it's still based on the the affinity. I, again, it, it's it's you're going off the sets. You're not going off the champion skill kits. It's not like like this right now is kind of well balanced in my opinion, right? Because I have somebody that's going to bring in my decrease defense. I have somebody that's going to do nuke. I, it gives me some sort of way to be able to heal and and keep myself alive. And yes, Mortu is going to be difficult and challenging to deal with. 
but I feel like it's better than just going off affinity, right? Now, I was going to go right into like the, the whole difficulty of some of these stages. Like We even have the double Taurus Marichka stage, which for anybody who tried it during rotation one, it was one of the most difficult stages to take on, right? Um, and for a lot of the players... Can I say they... something real quickly? Yeah. Sorry. So for this S19 you mentioned right now, S20, S14, you know, this, uh, this is the floor, guys, like... I don't know anybody can do that without touching your arena champion gear. Because, especially on the rotation one, they was asking us, like, using rare champion, epic champion, right? No yeah, Lego? Ep epic champions, yeah. 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 yeah, I mean, you guys need very high stat on them because you cannot empower them, right? So, you guys need to touch your arena champion gear, which means gear swap, if the all the champion have, like, six star gear, gonna cost, like, 1,005 million silver. Yep. Player need to understand one thing. People don't want that anymore. Permanent. Yeah. There is no other mobile game as I play, as I know. Swapping gear is costing money. But there is a mobile game. There is a wardrobe system. You are saving your gear. Then you can put that on the champion. Then you can beat the floor without any silver cost. And with one click, you can give your gear back to the champion. And I, I that think... will be huge improvement for the Polarium. If you're watching, yeah. free idea, just use it. <laughs> I agree with Ken I mean, on that. Go Nacho ahead. and I have been talking about that nonstop, man. They yeah, definitely they, I mean... need that. If they want Curse City to be something, that's what they need to do. Yeah. Yeah. Well, at least start with some kind of preset so we could maybe save presets for like certain gems. Yeah, just some sort of wardrobe option. Oh. Yeah. And, and I, that's the thing is, I feel like some of these stages are just over tuned over the boss and you know i want to give like a, a big shout out who actually just came in the chat bronco raid who has gone you know above and beyond with some of these builds being able to solo it with like rare and epic champions being able to give the community you know something to work with trying to take amius down the fact that we can take amius down with an epic or a rare or in some cases legendary champion soloing speaks some volume on how you know how bad some of these floors are and how it, it's just not enjoyable right i could sit here and tell you that i spent on s20 right here i spent two days trying to get this stage down i geared almost every single one of these champions trying to figure out different areas and it was just hard like i was bashing my head against the wall trying to figure it out so that's it I'm not finding it enjoyable. I think it was compared to Doom Tower, it was definitely a big flop, and I feel like they could have just done so much more. Now, I want to help Plarium in this. I want you guys to, you know, give them something that they can put in to make it enjoyable, right? Especially because now we're gonna, you know, in a couple of months, they're going to be releasing a difficult rotation, a higher difficulty, right? So they're gonna be releasing what is it, Nightmare or something, or Brutal. Oh, and so, uh, um, and you know, I think like, yeah, okay. One, we might get another mythical champion after that. Uh, but what, you know, what's going to be the go-to after that? Like what, what's going to keep us playing? So I'm going to start this off with Mr. Zero. Yeah. Uh, so I don't know. Yeah. I, I just, I, because again, I, I well, and I'm not spending the silver to to regear champions and, and play, you know, you know, gear musical chairs or whatever. Uh, and I just, I just don't care. I'm just like, okay, fine. I'll just, I'll just stop here. And this is as far as I go. This, this rotation, I get uh, carnage when I get carnage. So I don't know how they can do a harder, or even harder rotation um, than this because I stall out in the the yellow and or the purple right there on hard. And the normals, normals easy. It's great, hundred percent. So, like, you almost have to have your hard as your normal, and you're 100 percent that easy to go to a, the next one, uh, in my opinion. So, I don't know how they're going to do that. Um, but what, you know, what what would make it so that you would say, you know, let let me rephrase the question then. Easier, make it easier to do it, right? Not easier, but with Doom Tower, we know Dark Fairy rotation. Everybody farms it because it's got a gear set in there that we need to go for. Every rotation, I don't think anybody misses out on anything in Doom Tower because of the shards, of the books, of the value that we're getting 
from that content, right? From those stages. Like the rewards in Doom Tower are phenomenal. Being able like to clear hard Doom Tower basically means you have the resources for shard wise and maybe books to be able to complete a fusion. So what's it gonna take for Plarium to make I guess Centranos better than Doom Tower? and make us actually want to do this content. Yeah, I mean, I, th I think, you know, better rewards will probably probably be it because people will be you know, forced to go in and get that, especially if you're free to play. OK, um, I do like the idea of maybe just having a wardrobe where you can maybe throw in 50 pieces of gear and that's free swappable. And it just magically goes back after the stage, something like that. That way you don't have to monkey with your mechanics too hard and just kind of implement this new little thing that that whole i think guess did you say wardrobe yeah but that'd okay. be cool that made me actually want to try to go harder i, I think the, the problem is is uh, you know i'm not gonna spend 100 million silver to to do 20 20 less stages or whatever at the end okay um or go through what you said hours and hours and hours of pain of just swapping stuff out to get you know see which combination is going to work in your favor that that time uh, All right, so I guess yeah. what we're gonna what we're gonna say there is, you know, give us the wardrobe feature that that removes silver costs specific for Centranos, um, and that that way I think more player base will will use it because they're not gated behind all of that silver cost. Okay, yeah, because if you if they're gonna force you to cheese it with stuns or provoke sets like control, like like you know, it's probably the easiest way to kind of combat that, right? Like let you throw in your you know your fifty or hundred best pieces of of control gear or um, the the anti weekend stuff. What's it called? Uh, affinity, affinity breaker. breaker. Affinity breaker. Yeah, let you throw some affinity breaker and some whatever sets, and that's just your floating sets that are out there. They don't sit on the character, and you can swap them, and it doesn't change your character's gear. And when they finish the stage, their their normal gear goes back on. That's That'd not a cool. bad idea. Okay, so locking in specific pieces. All right. Yeah. Uh, H Dub, what about you, man? Yeah, I mean, just to piggyback off what he's saying, like, I feel like when you make a preset, when you make a team preset, the gear needs to lock into the preset. That is how it works on Dragonair. When you build a team out, you go in, it's going to put that exact same gear back on the champs, regardless of what you've done elsewhere in the game. I think that's an easy thing. We already have presets. It's, Probably like the game can recognize when there's not gear on the champ, so clearly they can easily go in and just code it to keep the gear there. Now, aside from that, because that is not you know particular to Centranos, that would change how people approach Hydra. That would change how people approach many other places, arena places where you have, you're constantly swapping gear. So people who push in game arena, I think all you know that gear thing is gonna change the game in every facet now as far as centranos goes a change that they could do to i don't know make me want to do centranos more i i just go back to you know the gear drops that we get you know okay I, i'll accept five star gear if i know that i'm not getting flat stack gear I'm, i'll be fine with it mythical legendary pieces no rares or epics something like that man yeah okay all right uh metaverse Can you hit me hit me up again? <laughs> um, okay, so what would make it so that you know if it came down to it between doing Doom Tower or this that would make you want to come back and do Centranos? Like, what what's going to keep you engaged with Centranos? Um, I said before, man, the gear and mostly the addiction, I guess, uh, at this point. Okay. All right, <laughs> PJ. Yeah. Um, I would love to see them add primals, uh, mythical books. Um, again, I mentioned like foraging materials for the gear for beating bosses or stages, getting that so you can start crafting. Um, I'm not sure. I liked the, that idea with the wardrobe, the kind of when I, what my idea for the wardrobe, but I had in my head was, so let's say you have your main nuking gear on whatever uh jorgen so those six pieces the main six pieces would be like nuking gear number one and then that those six pieces you could then swap over to whoever you want to use like you just like take nuking gear number one and just put it on that champion and it just automatically 
swap the gear. So you could have new nuking gear number one, set number two, set number three, and then you could have your supports, your your stone skins, kind of like that, and then just like one click swap it over. Um, but I did like the idea where you just like automatically fill it in because they do have that technology where it tells you after the run's over that you're missing gear, but doesn't warn you first. It lets you waste that's the true. Silver. That's true. And then uh, and the energy, the, the energy, <laughs> yeah, waste the energy. Granted, sometimes you do want champions not to have gear, but it would be nice to kind of let you know before you waste your stuff. Okay. Uh, Gessel? Uh, yeah, pretty much everything people have said here would certainly keep me more uh, involved. Uh, the Remnants, um, this seems like a very undertapped uh, part of the game so far. I, I think I pull maybe once a month there. It's kind of, so maybe you know bring that a little more into the fold uh the other thing that's really annoying about actually about uh centranos is um it like what would and i think they should do this throughout the game instead of having like 15 preset teams for every every fight every floor uh every dungeon whatever it is when you go into that main um that main stage where you're setting up uh, your, you know, your team, the the four, five, the six, whatever it is, you should be able to save that team there. Don't have presets for it. Save it as you create it, and then you're able to manipulate it as you're trying out the things. So specifically for uh, Centranos, like you have to manual a ton of that, ton of the 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 soul cross stuff and it's really annoying if you could go in there and be like, yeah, I, I want the A two first and then the A three. Like, let me set up the AI right in this screen here don't make me set it in some preset and then have to go in and find that preset label all the presets let me do it for each uh stage that probably adds a ton of you know save data to their databases and whatever that could be a problem that's why it's so limiting right now but i think that's actually a phenomenal idea right there being able to do it right here per yeah just per put it there stage. put that little button there and you can save you know set the eye on, on each floor that would that would be the one of the best things they could do. I, I think throughout the game, throughout the entire game, they should do it. Okay. That's what I said weeks ago. <laughs> that when we, you know, you showed me how at the beginning the game was that the the presets uh you have to name it. Why is it not I go to the dragon and then you know I set it stage six, this is my stage six. And then, you know, I I would love to have that, but there is no presets in uh Lotus Palace. The so worst is swapping out. from normal to hard. That yeah. gets me. Yeah. That kills me. Yeah. Nope. All right, Ken, tell me, what, what's it going to keep uh, for you to wanting to do this? I mean, I already said, like, uh, previously, like, no silver cost, wardrobe system would be nice, better uh, reward would be nice, actually. I believe there is no shard, right? No, no shard. It would shards. be nice to see a couple of the shards, well, you, you know, get, like, you it's very active. You, you get the remnants. You get the remnants if you clear mean, it. I <clears> mean... <throat> Maybe I want normal legendary champion, man, not mythical. Hey, so. listen, you're getting 500, you know, uh, summoning points for the fusion. So don't be too greedy. They'll they'll start okay. adding that. They'll start adding those points on. <laughs> I believe this uh, wardrobe system is. Uh, how to say that? Uh, the idea got uh, shared it with the Polarium, I believe, while back. And I feel like I see a comment from the Polarium. I may be wrong there, like, I kind of remember that, but I'm not 100% sure. I'm sorry if I'm wrong. They said, like, people gonna abuse that system on the arena. Like, people already abusing lots of system on the arena, Platinum Push. Yeah. Like, there is, like, people using Astralite, they are finding a guy. His team not countering the Astralite, you know, not, don't have immunity Mitrella. They are attacking him 10 seconds. Fight is over. They refresh the page. Finding the same dude again and attacking that again, like. Yeah, if they I, really care about the arena, they would release. They I, they wouldn't release the armors to be honest. Well, 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 well. I mean, <laughs> they, 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 they have a plan for armands. I mean, I know they are gonna sell the solution, <laughs> but yeah. Okay, uh, and I, I, I agree. I think I can see what their, you know, what their side of it is, where it could essentially, you know, break the economy in the game. And I think like maybe just locking that feature behind Centranos because it is yeah. so demanding. I could get behind that. I if you don't want to lock it between dungeons and this and that, because a lot of us, let's face it, if we don't farm the gear, right? If we don't do the dungeons for the better gear, 
they're not we're not gonna get, they're not gonna buy the energy they're not gonna do this you know we are always looking for the 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 better faster team for that reason and i think that's their point behind that but i do think with centrano said i like the idea of you know zero being able to lock in let's say 50 or 100 pieces of gear that are not going to cost me any silver to remove i think that would be phenomenal now that said miss daffodil what about you well, I already said many of you said <laughs> what I thought. But someone mentioned it in the chat that some gears, I wish they would change it to two pieces okay. instead of four. Some of them I understand would be okay, fine, like region. I'm really struggling with region sets because I still I'm still not able to uh farm higher stages of uh fire nut, but I even though I really like I, I like Cursi D, but yeah, I feel like the um, the rewards are not good enough for me to say sometimes i'm i, I try every day but sometimes I'm like okay i'm so not even i stop trying i know there is one week to be said okay i try in a week and for me because i'm not an end game player the difference between the normal and hard difficulty for me the difference is to me it's huge um, when I try to go through the same stages, once, obviously because I don't have that many beer champions as well, or silver, I barely swap gears for uh, Cursity. Obviously, I don't want to waste my uh, silver. Is like something that I'm proud if I often, not, on normal, I'm often on the on the rankings, on the global ones. So I'm very proud of that. But then after that, just downhill. <laughs> the difference for me between normal and hard is, is too big. I feel like it's um, if they want, they have to keep the new players they entertain too, right? Because one day we just someone just said, I'm not gonna do this. It's eating up my time. I find another game, and if they want you to stick to it, especially if someone is working and has family and do it in that time, and this is too hard. I'm not going to build my champ. I'm not going to do it. So for me. The difference can be a little bit lower up until you you reach the stage S or something. That's how I feel about it. Okay, so nerfing the stages a little bit uh, would make you actually yeah, want to continue doing it. Okay, so yeah, I, I I see the fact here of why they're saying why they won't do the 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 gear removal. And again, I can kind of understand the whole arena thing, but I I think there is no absolutely no reason why they can't lock it behind centranos um they got to give it something that little bit of oomph for us to continue doing it because i can surely tell you myself as i was expecting it to be bigger than doom tower honestly after i get carnage doom tower takes more precedence for me to do i will make sure that i get all my doom tower keys done over centranos because i just there's nothing else there now what they could do in my opinion is the rewards need to be upscaled right if i'm going to come up here and spend 80 90 million silver i need i need rewards that are going to be fitting because it's going to take thousands of energy for me to be able to farm that back up i mean I, three days ago i was at 70 million silver i'm down to 12 right um, it's great that they moved it to the end of the rotation for a lot of the people. Um, but most end game players are going right to this rotation or right to this soul cross right from the rip. Uh, you know, either give us the time to pick out when we want to do it, or even better, just give us scrolls again, Plarium. Let us pick when we do it. Give us, give us five scrolls that allows us every month to just reset um the silver cost for that 24 hour period whenever we want to do it so that way we have the time and do it on our schedule not yours so a, oh, are you done sorry yeah go ahead uh about the free gear swapping thing in arena like isn't most of like if you're an end game player all your best gear is probably already on your arena champions anyways right i so mean that's like, by the yeah. way i disagree with this thing i don't see any re reason how it is going to be and make you also unbalanced need on the arena the amazing right. sets to uh, you still need to get the gear with the stats in order for you to like want to swap the gear so i feel like you still would be doing dungeons and stuff and like yeah like i said all the all your best gears on the arena sets are already on your arena champions so you'd be swapping them off to do other content in the game so let me let me present on. it to you this way right if 
I was pushing my arena team, right? I could come in, have my arena defense set, and then if my best gear is on my Taras, and all of a sudden I want to switch it from Taras to, uh, let's say, I don't know, uh, wh where is he? This guy, Narciss, right? You could keep flopping that back and forth. People will be expecting it. And then all of a sudden, once you start, you know, swapping the gear, you could do that 10, 15 times and not cost anything. So people will be, oh, he's got a week of uh, week champion no. on there or something like that. No, uh, the picture is showing the free silver cost. Like if they remove the silver cost, they said like it's going to be break the arena, which is you cannot do this swap that fast during the platinum push. Yeah, you can't. Right. Because you need to do manually. If they release a wardrobe system with the free silver cost, that uh, maybe you, you can be right about that. Yeah. But there is no wardrobe system right now, so you need to switch your gear by one by one, which is nobody going to do that during the platinum push. Well, let, let's also. Every say second is important. Platinum Arena push right now is not what it used to be, where you, know, you find the speed team, you go for it, and you hit it. It's literally. It takes hours of people coming in trying to prep for Plat Arena because of all of the toxicity that we have between Stone Skin and everything else. So, I, I don't know. I, I mean, the other thing, I mean, if they're worried about gear swapping and stuff like that too, maybe it's free once in a 24-hour period or something like that. And if you try to swap it back and forth, then it, then it has the silver cost to it. Yeah. Um, and, I, and I think another point here that would make it a little more enjoyable is stop having the choking points. Let us actually pick uh, which is uh, GC Morgan over here. It's a it's a great great idea. Let us pick where we want to go. Let us just let us open up the map and start where we want to go and work our way through. That way we can allocate our resources and time towards the stages that we need to. Right. Um, and I, I think that's pretty big because I've I've always gone right to um, Soulcross right off the rip just because I know that's going to be the most difficult. Nothing else for my account level is going to be challenging. So Plurium. Centranos needs help. I can assure you that a lot of the player base, I mean, even um, Bronco right here made a, a great comment about it. There's a lot of people that are not even, you know, clearing anything past the uh, first one, which is, uh, what is it? What's it called? Um, Plague Lands, right? Or Cabo Market. They're, they're not, there's a lot of people that are not even getting out of this, which is, you know, it's bad. It's bad. Uh, you know, so. You got to give something. You got to go back to the drawing board. You got to change it up a little bit. They need, we, we need this game mode. If it's going to be the life of raid, we need it to be a little more enjoyable. Now, can I, can I ask a quick, quick yep. question on that? Do you think if they open it up to like one more faction per stage, would that give people more options to make it easier? It's possible. Um, adding an extra faction to each one wouldn't be a bad idea. It just I, expands the pool a little bit, right? I think what would be a little bit better is if you can bring in, like, one particular champion to kind of help you out with everything, right? Um, to, uh, on too. every stage. I think well, that would imagine, be a little bit better. Imagine yeah, Garnage that, available on those the, stages. Yeah, the wardrobe <laughs> thing, but maybe you can pick your own, like, like champion that you want to ride or die on, and you lock it in for the whole rotation. It's like, okay... I want to lock in my Taras, or I want to lock in my whoever. Um, that'd be cool. I, I think something like that, because we do have a lot of difficult stages here that, again, you're, you're going up against negative... Fit <laughs> yeah, everybody would put in Armands, right? Um, or maybe, you know, <laughs> okay, don't let us pick, but give us a particular pool of champions that say that, you know, that the community does have, and it doesn't have to be a legendary champion. It could be an epic right that's that's decent that has a revive or a heal or something to be able to help us get through some of these more difficult stages because i can tell you i get to some of the bosses or some of the final stages and i don't have a reviver and i mean i, I centranos has made me hate rotos I, I i love rotos to death because he's one of the best arena champions but that s20 stage it's like this son of a bitch just goes off time after time after time and just wipes my whole team and i'm like i spent 20 minutes getting to this stage and now i'm done right but that said i feel like in the community i'm pretty sure is feeling the same way we need a little bit of a change to centranos to make it a little more enjoyable and to actually deliver on it being bigger than dune tower 
Because as of right now, I'm pretty sure most of us are going to say it's not. And if I had to pick and choose which one I would do, I think, and you guys may may have a different opinion, but I think Doom Tower would put more of a precedence than Sinchanos. Now, that said, let's move into uh, a, something a little bit that they uh, informed us. We're going to be getting some changes into a lot of these dungeons. Uh, and in particular, three of them, which is going to be Iron Twins, uh, Sand Devils Necropolis, and Phantom Shogun. And I think this is phenomenal. Um, the first thing I'm going to ask you is, did they wait too long to do the changes for some of these? Because some of these bosses have been out for almost a year. Some of them have only been out for a couple of months. Did they wait too long to get these changes done? Zero. Uh, I don't know. I, I will say I'm going to be very mad at them if they nerf the existing cheese that we've so, invested into. <laughs> no, and let me, let me make sure you guys understand. Any current teams we currently have for any of these dungeons are not going to be affected at all. Whatever we currently uh, have, I, they have confirmed that. They have said that any current teams we have are going to be fine. They're going to be the same. A lot more, I think what it, what's going to happen is a lot more, because they have not told us exactly what's going to change, but a lot more of the lower level stages like, uh, that we were trying to climb up to might be a little more achievable now right so i and again i may be wrong but i feel like that's the direction they're going to go with um it might yeah. just be a, a straight stat nerf like they did with bommel when he was first released yeah yeah so i i think um this might be a controversial take on it again i come from like a programming background so i know that the work in you know needed especially after they've kind of Basically, they're they're planning six months out. They got to pick a direction and they got to go with it, right? So they're like, okay, we're going to do this champion. This is what we think is going to bring to the player base, and the, the you know we're going to add this extra mechanic to the game. Blah 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 blah. So so I think they had to kind of go that route. Um, and then they were like, okay, well now that we've allowed ascension of gear, we need to allow for a rerolling of gear. So let's put the dust in and let's force people to go to twenty five to go get that dust, right? Um, and they've tweaked the rewards to also make it more energy efficient or you get better rewards for the energy you're spending. Some people were choosing just the lower levels and not going up. So I think they kind of needed to go through the process to get everyone up to 25. And now that they're looking at the stats and they're only seeing, oh, well, crap. Uh, Blizzard and uh, Godseeker and Walking Tomb Drenge and maybe one other cheese thing or, or the way people are, you know, being forced to do this and that's not enjoyable like we've kind of forced everyone to go to 25 and they're just building out this one or two two ways to do it um which kind of is a very restricted so so i so i guess i give them kudos to try to you know come up with the content code it add more you know value to it kind of push people more toward the end and then now that they see it and they're like well crap nobody's not everybody can do it or you know if you don't have the blizzard and the five star champ you know the five star blessing it's not going to work um and, and, I, and I think it's really bad game design to force a, a, a five star blessing uh, to to be able to cheese the content right uh, in any length of time. So uh, you know, I give them kudos to finally doing it. Um, did, did they take too long? It, it, it's I don't, just a... I don't. I think it's acceptable. Okay. I don't know if I can answer. It took too long. I think they stuck with their guns and they made it more relevant to push people into the later stages. And now that they're saying what people can or can't do. Okay. Now they're saying, Hey, let's nerf it. And by the way, send devils. What? And I'm just using that as an example. That was, Cause that was kind of really the first one well, iron twins too, but, but uh, before that, but I, I think that um, they're doing them all at the same time. So I give them kind of credit for that. And, and that might be a controversial take, but um, I don't know. Okay. That's not okay. two cents. Um, all right. Uh, H-Dub. Was the exact <laughs> question again? Did this all right. Take, did they, did did they, take, too did they take too long to, to uh, do the adjustments for, the, for these dungeons for a lot of the community? I, I have a lot of the player base that I've worked on their accounts. Yeah. You know, they've been playing for a year or two. Um, 
and they can't even farm stage 15 you know yeah yeah i mean as far as the greater community is concerned yes they took way too long right because if we think about the average player playing this game know a lot of the things that we consider to be like in-game content or difficult content the average player is not able to complete it and i'm gonna just say i'm right about that um agreed and that that that's all i have to say about it man okay all right um meta yeah should it should it should the changes have come earlier actually i was not even expecting them i guess it's not a bad timing for after just after they added the chaos dust and all that and all that uh, stuff to to the dungeons but uh yeah sun devil is sun devil is really really hard um I don't know, man. I just, I'm not, I'm not the average player, so <laughs> I'll just, I just don't care personally. Okay. All right. So you have no opinion on it. You don't really care whether it got nerfed or not nerfed because it, it doesn't really no. matter. No. What I, what I wonder is why now, and I'm, I'm always trying to think why Plyum would do it now. What's the, what's happening? Maybe. Maybe they have new players coming in. They want to make the game more accessible, or they see that uh, mid game players kind of trying to are sort of losing it and discourage with the hard content. I feel like this some shady ways. Uh, some um, okay. Yeah. I, I, I think I, I think you've got a a really good idea right there. Where uh, why now? Right. That's that's going to be a question a lot of us are going to be asking. Why now? Why not earlier? What is coming? Uh, PJ. Um, yeah, so I think, well, one of the, for well, why now, I think one of the reasons why now was because of the, uh, the daily login we just got. Um, she's supposed to be really good for Sand Devil, it's supposed to help a lot of, uh, <laughs> mid game, early game players. So with her added and the maybe lowering of the stats, or whatever they do, uh, I think that's going to be a good combo for a lot of the community. Um, as far as is it too late, um, or was it, I'm yeah, yeah, or whatever, yeah, too later late. than it should have been. Um, Probably when you only have like a few options to get to the like to farm twenty five, like you got the Neri cheese, or you got like the really cracking teams with like the double god or the double nuts and like the rehos. Those are really hard teams to get. Um, I'm glad that they decided to not change any of the previous teams are working. I think that would have been a huge mistake. I think the community would have been an uproar. I mean, half the people only got the Blizzard five soul. Wait for it. Uh, <laughs> because I know, I mean, we'll see. But I mean, as we can only take them from their word, and what they've said is they're not going to change it. Right. Um, we'll see what happens. But I think that's a really good thing that they're not going to change any existing teams and hopefully make it easier. Are we going to talk about the rewards or is this is that part of the this rewards discussion? for? Uh, so I they, mean, I just they, would like. They haven't said that they're going to increase any of the rewards or anything like that. What they've currently told us is that the. The, the the nerf is coming. The difficulty level will be downscaled. Okay. Um, I mean, yeah, I would uh, like to see them make stage twenty five more dust, and then have a, I mean, because I know people, <laughs> I know they want them to get people to twenty five, like the highest stages to farm the highest content. But they would up the dust on twenty five, and then maybe get twenty four, twenty three to have a little bit lower dust. I think that'd be good, and then up the Iron Twins rewards would be nice as well. Okay. Um, guess so. Yeah, I mean, in terms of a gamer, yeah, it took way too long. If they were going to, like, it, to me, basically, we just beta tested these champs, and now they've realized uh, what they've got to do to fix them and put them out. It'd be a much nicer uh, company of this size and with as much money as they got to be able to play test it, come up with these decisions before they release it to us, and then and then release it to us. Um but in terms of a development uh, side of things, I have to appreciate that they actually took the time uh, to look at the statistics and understand that the nobody's really hitting this except for endgame people because it is very difficult. And it's it's what what uh, champs are being used there are all the same essentially. Um, so that they had to make a change to a make more champs relevant and b. Uh, more uh, accessible to the rest of the... I mean, they make it uh, in a, uh, one of the advanced quests to go in here and, and ascend an item, so that means you have to be fighting this thing. My free-to-play account, two years in almost on my free-to-play account, 
Uh, I only go into like I, I think I'm only up to like stage eight or nine on Sand Devil. Sand Devil is absolute nightmare if you don't have the right champs. Um, so yeah, I, you know I'm, I'm I guess I'm <laughs> playing Switzerland here. I'm kind of on both sides. I could see I could see from the company side, and I actually appreciate it. Uh, but from the gamer side, yeah, way too long, man. Way too long. Yeah. Um, Ken. I mean, it's never too late, you know. There is always new player uh, starting to play in the game, so for them, it's not late, you know. It's great for them. The another thing, I don't think uh, they can nerf the bosses without affecting the current existence comp. There is a couple of the comp, but some of them like Godseeker, HP Burner, you know, and the Bronco team. Uh, uh, what B Belizar, right? Belizar, yeah. Like, these teams are based off the boss killing you. If they are gonna reduce the boss damage, ooh, boss cannot kill you anymore. That's you true. Know? So, ooh. that's well, gonna be a fake. Yeah, that's can, gonna be a fake. We can lower the stats a little bit on the champs, so I guess that's still... Yeah, you know, it's still it's gonna, gonna be a fake you too. As you know, long like, as the strategy if, stays the same. I don't mind lowering the stats, I feel like, as long as you can still do the main strat. I think the only way they can reduce the... I mean, nerf them without affecting the teams, like reducing their max HP. But that's also gonna be affect like max HP eater or the HP burner. So uh, I won't count on that, guys. I believe uh, we need to regear a couple of the champion. But end of the day, they said rebalance. They didn't say it nerf, but I don't think they are gonna buff them. So I, I think that's the reason why they are... try to they they when uh, they say nerf, uh, <laughs> people get mad. They've learned that. Oh, they, they say, say fix. They, they say, say fix, fix or rebalance. Yeah. But we know yeah, what fix. it really means. <laughs> yeah, my counter is saying like before, uh, you know, uh, they increasing the price. They said like uh, we update the price, you know. So <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's <laughs> uh, why now? I believe they are nerfing them for the curse too. Because one of the hardest spots for the Cursed is the Iron Twin, Plant Devil, and the Phantom Shogun. Cursed have been there like 5 months, I believe they got some statistic. So most of the people probably stuck on them. So if they nerf them on the dungeon, it's going to be affected some uh, Cursed as well. So I believe that's the reason why they are doing that now. You because think Iron Twin... the stats of the Cursed City? Yeah, I mean, Twins? depends what they are going to nerf, but if they are going to nerf like bosses mechanic, Obviously, it's going to be also reflected right. cursed. Yeah. Okay. Um, Daph, what about you? Well, I am really struggling with uh, Sand Devil, yeah. So I'm, I'm happy if anything changes with it. So it's going to be more accessible for us. Most of my audience, you know, it comes from lower stages, so it takes less time. But obviously, I, I burn up more energy and then I go to cursity to see if there is a stage I can get some. So I don't I don't know. Yeah, my first thought was when I read it, then they say that it won't affect on the teams. I finally put a team together that can do stage 10 in um in San Devia. So I'm happy. But my first thought was this is going to change probably speed or their starts. Uh, cause I'm using some champions that I use somewhere else, which obviously don't wanna change. So I am I don't want to say anything up until I see what changed, mm -hmm. and then I go from there. But I suspect it's going to. I I somehow feel like I have to rebuild some champions again if I want to use it for both content. As far as if it's too long, um, as I see, if any content creators comes up with a solution, with an easy solution to something, they are very very quick to uh, react. Uh, but it's not so weird. So you know now. You waited, as I remember when I started um, playing then the, the Shogun uh, dungeon open at that time, so I remember. Uh, so yeah, it's it's a year, so you know it's not balanced. Okay. All right. <laughs> How fast they react. Okay. Um, all right, so, you know, as for myself, did they take too long? I think a little. Um, you know, we, we had some of these dungeons out for almost a year, like the Phantom Shogun. For the longest time is is basically if you want to farm stage 25 you need specific key champions and especially now that we need to farm the uh chaos dust we definitely need a little more variety of 
champion pool to come in, right? Uh, now, I know that there's been a, a lot of content creators that have come out with some very interesting and great comps, like Biohack came out with the Blizzard one. Um, but I, I feel like, I mean, if you don't have a God Seeker, if you don't have those specific champions, you're never going to get to that stage, right? Um, and even as myself as an endgame player, the main reason why I got to this was Nogdar, right? When Nogdar came out, when Nogdar had that little bit of a, of a bug fix, I ran myself right to 25. I did not even wait. <laughs> uh, right? So that, that's one of those big things. So I, I definitely think that it took a little too long. And I think Plarium, I know you look at your metrics and you're all about being analytics, but you need, you need to act on this a little faster because, yes, the the let's say 5%, which is being generous, is going to get to this end game stuff, but you're leaving the 95% out of it. And if they're not going to enjoy it, they're not going to do it. And they're not going to play Raid, right? We, we, we've definitely seen an, uh, an influx of players leaving Raid. Um, some of them come back. But for the majority of us that have stuck through, that have been here for the years, we love the game. We want to play the game. But we want to have fun with it. I can say something about it. Yep. I... A month ago, uh, some people started telling me when I started really streaming and showing off my account that because I'm not an endgame player, why am I even spending my energy and time on these dungeons? And I said, I need this just as much as, as you do. If I have a nice skill, I really wanted to make it better unless I find something like I'm, I'm very happy that I, I, I can, for example, my Zeno banner, the crit damage glove. Uh, I understand that they don't crit damage, and that's a huge thing for me. Mm -hmm. uh, and when I'm not an end, you know, it's a helpful thing still, even if it gives you that small boost. And I think maybe they also decided that because it's hard, it might uh, scare people away who who are just starting it, or or uh, want they want to make sure that they can also have like not obviously not. Uh, have the same um how do you say that the, the same um gear as an end game player but you have right. the opportunity to make it better make make it accessible for the, just the community. you make it accessible just to be able to beat a little bit higher stages now i'm at stage 10 but i'll be very very happy for a long time i can like i don't know say yeah. 15 or agreed. Like, just go to 12, Agreed. All right. And the last thing I want to touch up on today is this Aidlin chase. Now, a lot of us got the, either the gear first or the rewards first. It was kind of odd. I don't, I don't know. It, it was like really weird, right? Some of us, it, it just, you know, that said, though, the champion themselves. And I know we've jumped a lot into conclusion. Like I myself released the video on head on saying she is an epic champion. Her skill kit looks absolutely trash. Uh, I'm not happy with her. Like, compared her to other champions like UDK, Sun Wukong, Artek, we've got some big names out there that have definitely changed accounts once you get them. She seemed very underwhelming. I think I would put it as an epic champion. And one of the biggest comments that I saw is, guys, you're all harping on her. You're all saying this. They told us that they're going to change her. Uh, they changed Sand Devils. And just wait. Just wait. That is true, right? But overall, is she really worth it? And do you even think she's going to make... You w All right, let me, let me phrase it this way. Would you pick her over Godseeker and Neri to help you in Sand Devils? Uh, let's start with Zero. Oh, no. I don't even use Godseeker. <laughs> but you are comparing it to one of the best epics in the game. But I, I'll say this. I think we have been spoiled by the free champions that we've gotten. So the bar kind of has gotten higher and higher and higher. And so this one coming in may reset it lower. And then something else that I heard, and I do remember this, because I think Deliana was my first one that I started uh, a little bit, a little bit two years ago. Um, and Deliana was my first free champion. And I remember the, the people who've been playing for years were like, Oh, Deliana's crap. Don't use her. Whatever. I was like, actually, she's a she's like my second legendary I got on my account, and she's a she's a game changer. Like, like she's really awesome. So I think uh, 
Daph even said that today, like it's a game changer for her. Uh, so I, I think it's important to keep that perspective. Okay. But I do think she's crap compared to what we have gotten, though. So, so <laughs> you take Godseeker over champ. her. So you take Godseeker yes, over her. Yes, one hundred percent taking okay. Godseeker over her. All right, her. all right, yeah. Um, H Dub, what about you, brother? Hey, I'll do you one better. I take a Muck Stalker over her. Oh God. H <laughs> Dub, what about you? Um, it's a free chat, man. What am I complaining about? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Meta. <laughs> Yeah, same school here. Uh, 30k CVC points. I'm happy with that. Let's see uh, what, what she's got for the future. Okay. Um, let's go, Gestel. Yeah, it's a free chat, man. I mean, we. I, I'm honestly happy it's not another UDK or, or Wukong, man. You go into any freaking library right now, every <laughs> team goes UDK, Wukong. So, frankly, I'm happy about that. Uh, the... Uh, yeah, and I think I think she can be good. I think she can be good. And if she's not good, man, it's not the end of the world either. They they've been very I think the Artac's been awesome. Uh, you know, they've come out with some really good ones along the way. So Rhonda's super solid too. Uh so you can't they can't all be gems. I'm fine with it. Okay. Uh PJ. Um yeah. I mean, like, I guess she's a free champion. I'd probably take Godseeker over her. Like, I know Daph said that she was really helpful for beating Faction Wars, but to me, like, just a champion that's... Uh, hello. Um, <laughs> just a champion that's good in Faction Wars isn't, like, that good. She could have pulled many epics and, like, done this probably the same thing. Um... So comparing her to an epic as a legendary, that's not really a good sign. Um, they've done many other great free logins in the past, so it's hard. You shouldn't be, you shouldn't compare stuff in raid, but we always do. And uh, but yeah, you guys make a good point. Her not being super OP is nice. You want to like yeah, UDK and Wukong might be up there as the most annoying duo, and okay. they were free. So if. Even so, if you're mid and that you're trying to progress in Sun Devil, it, she's still a le legendary to book, and that's that's pretty bad compared to other Legos you you could have. So I don't think even she's, yeah, she's not a priority or anything. I, I don't think I'd put twelve books. Yeah, that's that's a lot. That's a lot. Twelve books. <laughs> twelve books. Twelve books. Uh, no, sorry, sorry, eleven books. The oh. A two is only three. Uh, that's fine then. <laughs> all right, uh, Ken, talk to me. I disagree. Oh, okay. To most of you guys. First of all, she's free. Okay. <laughs> Second of all, they not always give us good free legendary champion. You know, you mentioned Wukong, Ultimate Death Knight, but they also give us like Alexander, Deliana, you know, so. Compared to them, I think she's better than them, to be honest. The another thing is we almost need to do nothing to get her five stars so. Like that's literally true. just do your daily stuff. Five star is huge, guys. Yeah, that's big. Five star is very noticeable in what Amuse. Yeah. If you not blazing to have a Maricha <laughs> or from Banner Lord, which is she can help you a lot because she's also have a heal ability, guys, for the Banner Lord. You know, like I don't have a Maricha, so I don't have a healer. On this condition, so I can use her there. You don't have to book her, by the way. Like for the end game perspective, uh, you can give her like crazy state. Like you, you are not going to use your heal ability like every turn anyway. So it's a four turn with the book. It's a three turn with the book. I use my Bilzar just because he's four star. You know, I didn't book him at all, so I still able to use him. You know, so I believe this five star, especially after we got a five star, that's going to be solid. I mean, I'm not saying like she's great champion. Don't get me wrong, please. But again, like uh, I'm the one of the uh, content creators actually say that first time whenever I see her kid for uh, first time, they said to us earlier guys they are gonna nerf the bosses. They are actually mentioned sun devil. I'm thinking like if they are gonna nerf the sun devil damage, you know, like because right now guys, if you guys want to survive against the sun devil, you need like hundred k plus HP with the Salvoir gear, the fiend gear, some stupid stuff like that. Like, if you don't have that, there is no way you can survive against his nuke ability. 
But if they nerf that nuke ability, you know, ignore defense stuff, maybe her uh, destroyed, my bad, restores, max HP heal ability can be useful. Her A2 ability actually on the sun level. So maybe people can make a more different comp than what we used to use it on these days. So again, it's a free champion. Just free, man. Like, And again, like, uh, 5 stars all almost free too. Like, it's saying like we need 1050 point only, right? And we are getting 5 points from Columbus. Yep. So if you guys end game player, you guys can use 4 key. So it's like 20 points just from the Columbus coming. The the fact is, I and I think the Aidlin chase, the phase two, is absolutely phenomenal. Plarium, I think this is, and again, I want to commend you on a lot of the good things you do. And this is one of the best things you've done. The way you did this, I don't think any player will be upset. Uh, Def, what about you? Uh, yeah, well, we know, we yeah, know your opinion, right. but... No, so what I've seen lately in the past couple of months, okay, we all remember we had a COVID hit us. We were locked in. Obviously, more people play this game. And if you see the numbers, as I see, less people playing it. I do feel like Plarium wants to um, attract new people or or even if he, they got new people who are starting or with the game, make sure there is like something to log in to continue because many people uh, don't have the patience to work on their champions and, and get a champion that can do at least two of these kids. But there is the possibility to to farm, like we said, a uh, Centaville mm -hmm. after they change it. And uh, yeah, all I am, I'm going to be honest, I hear a lot of people uh, mourning about anything that Plarium does, uh, anything I got for free, I'm happy. I have to tell you that the gear so far I got was absolute trash. Yep. Uh, the other day I had the flat defense boots. I'm like, okay, I'm not going to spend my orb to change this or some fish. But um, maybe someone is starting it right now. You know, yeah. you know how much, I don't know if you remember how much a perception set if you get... If you roll it like a flat defense boot roll, rolls on triple speed, you are still happy at the beginning. You know what I mean? It's still something to work with. And uh, I feel like that's what they are doing. I personally like this champion because I'm a big Harry Potter fan. And when I look at her, she is a Slytherin. I am a Slytherin for life. <laughs> and I just, I, I think she's got a good kid because it's a mixture of uh, abilities that can be helpful in. in different or it's not just send them it itself like i say it for me um for like four months and finally i could i could be the the, the creep so um yeah it's free you can work with and um she's pretty i like it <laughs> okay i like it all right um yeah so like i said overall i mean you guys saw the reviews everybody's bombed her um and unfortunately those those never get updated because we never reset them but I feel uh, maybe, again, uh, we kind of jumped a little bit on it. And I, especially myself, I'm not going to lie. Like, I, I felt like she's a very underwhelming, absolute trash champion. And I thought there was, you know, epics that do better. We'll have to wait and see. Uh, Ken did give me a little bit of an idea there with the Taurus Marichka. I may try to play that out a little bit and see how that works. Uh, nice job on calling me out, too. Uh <laughs> And uh, I mean, yeah. she's from Baylor, yeah. also. That's true. That's true. You know, I was thinking, I, I was just thinking Aislin along with yeah, her. Yeah, exactly. Um, so, all right. Um, we talked about a lot today, uh, but I want to talk about one last thing. Where can people find you? And I want to start with Zero Brew. Find me on Twitch. Sunday, Tuesday, Friday nights, and then some daytimes getting in there right now. And then, of course, the YouTube channel. We are slowly adding content to that. But, uh, yeah, I, li I like to do it live. I'm more of a live kind of guy. He's the right here, right now, you're not going to get it later type of guy. Okay. Yeah. Unless you clip <laughs> it and, <laughs> and upload it. h Dub, <laughs> what about you, brother? Where can people find you? Uh, you can find me on my YouTube channel. I'm not streaming much right now because NBA playoffs. I kind of want to watch the game. So, <laughs> um, I'll be back making raid content. I took a little break after I did the whole Dragonair dance for four months. 
So, uh, yeah, be back on YouTube soon. All right. Metaverse, where can everybody find you, boss? On Twitch, baby. Right here. Yeah. All live. That's okay. what I um, PJ, where can everybody find you? Uh, MXPJE on Twitch. I stream pretty much every single weekday. Try to get two times a day in. Come hang out. Say what's up. All right. Gesto, where can everybody come and find you? Yeah, Gestel Gaming on Twitch and YouTube and Gestel.gg is the website. All right, Ken? Final Kempachi on the YouTube and the, with the same name on the Twitch at the Columbus Reset. We are going live every single day except Sunday, guys. Sunday, I'm exclusive in here. Okay. Miss Daffodil, where can everybody come and find you? Uh, on Twitch. Uh, literally, I'm very, very exclusive. Yes, only live. I don't do YouTube. I do not know how to, and I'm sometimes embarrassed about things I say, so I don't want it. <laughs> <laughs> but come say hi. Come say hi. Usually Tuesday, Thursday. Um, it used to be Sunday. I don't know. And I don't know if anyone knows. I have a, a health condition, and uh, sometimes I am not able to stream, but I try to pop in everywhere. I'm everywhere. You'll find me everywhere. All right. And you can always find them here on the Knights of Teleria podcast. Anytime they have some free time, they are all welcome as long as they want to come. And that goes to any other content creator out there. Now, before we give our shout outs, I do got to put somebody on the spot here. H Dub, can we get a beat? A beat? Oh, snap. Oh, my God. <laughs> Who's playing a beat? <laughs> I don't know. Can you spit something for us? I can give you. I can give you an intro. <laughs> <All right. laughs> there we go. <laughs> hey, wait. You all right? Dude. You want me to rap? <laughs> all right. <laughs> the nights of Tulare live on Sundays, and you know that's the day before Mondays. It's almost reset. If you're pushing plat, don't fall asleep before. Uh, before reset time, that's all. That's all. <laughs> we go <laughs> sweat. Yeah, all right, let's go. Let's go. <laughs> that was good at the time. Let's go. All right. Um, <laughs> let's do some shout outs. Uh, let's go with Miss Daffodil. You got a shout out for me? Okay, my shout out goes for Mr. Zero Brew because. Hey. Okay, I haven't been able to watch him many times because when he used to stream, his usual stream is like 2 a.m. in my time. I went to Lou, I turned into and I fell asleep. But now he's streaming. So I just want to give him a huge shout out because it's so much fun. It's so much fun. But uh, careful with the alcohol. <laughs> okay. Uh, Ken, what about you? You got a uh, shout out for me? Uh, I like to shout out Bronco. Uh, he's also the content creator. I believe he reached tier 3 recently. Congrats to him. Yep. He's also on the Raid Community Awards, guys. Uh, the strategy, I believe, best strategy content creator. So, big shout out to him. Check his YouTube channel, guys. Huge shout out to him, actually. If I have to say, if, I, if, I, if I'm going to use any influence to swing your vote, you better go vote for him because he is yeah, I did phenomenal him. at coming up with some of this stuff. Um, you know, and now that he's a tier three and is on the test server, I can expect so much more to come out, making sure that my resources are saved. Uh, Gestel, what about you, brother? Uh, I'm going to give a shout out to a man we brought up earlier. He's done a lot of awesome stuff uh, for the game. Mr. Biohack, uh, making waves with that Blizzard comp, and uh, he's been doing some big things since then, even before then. Uh, great streamer. He's been streaming on YouTube and Twitch, uh, Live Arena. Um, he's a great, great, and watches YouTube's on Live Arena if you're interested in just learning. It's a super smart guy. He does a lot of great stuff in Live Arena. He's, he's like 5,700 points right now. So uh, shout out to Bioman. Awesome dude as well. Yep. Great shout out right there. He actually thinks outside the box as well, too. He does not try to use. I mean, he was still using Deacon and Gold 3. Who does that, right? Um, all right, PJ, what you got for a shout-out? Uh, we got Mr. Fall Reload. Some of you guys might know him. Some of you guys might not. He's like an early mid-game player. Streams usually late nights. He's West Coast, so he's on uh, early mornings, late nights. I'll drop his link in the chat. There it is, his Thank Twitch, you. Fall Reload. 
Um, really good dude. He, got, he always plays good music, down to earth, good vibes. Um, check him out and follow. Definitely. I've, I've uh, tuned in into a couple of his streams. He's late at night. I remember this one time I was driving back from the airport and I had him watching, listening, because I just didn't want to listen to the radio. And Actually, great guy to hang out with. Really enjoyed mm -hmm. it. Metaverse, Definitely. what you got for me? Uh, it's some dude like that I, is, I think, kind of known within the community for being a Twitch uh, viewer. And he's also an in-game account. And he's, he just got recently to he just recently got to streaming. It's Airfan Two. If your guys are familiar, this guy yeah. that we kind of we smiled at each other across the room but never said hi. So now, now he's streaming. So I'm glad. Check him out. Okay. Okay. He's hey. doing F two P now. Mm -hmm. All right. All right. Um, yeah, Airfan's the man. H Dub, what you got for me? Man, I want to give a shout out to you, bro, because um, you've been at this for, you know, just over a year now with just trying to consistently get content creators to come together and collab, like actively working on that. And man, it, it just it brings so much joy to my heart to see that it's it's manifested. You got your podcast jumping. Bro, I love to see it, man. So huge shout out to you for being consistent, for, you know, taking the time to reach out to people, coming up with these ideas. You guys are awesome. And I think it's important for the health of the community and the, the health of what the game will be, you know, because without the community, we all, we all know it's cliche at this point. Great. Thank you. And, you know, I, I got to say, you, you <laughs> I, I, I have spent countless hours with you on Discord. We've talked and a lot of our collabs that we've done, I can't say there's another content creator that I have, we guys, we've recorded hours and I've had to chop the video down to like 15 minutes. And if I, I'm looking back at that, I'm like, we're just, we sit in there talking, but thank you. Thank you. Um, Mr. Zero Brew, what you got for me for a shout out, brother? Yeah. So I'm loving the fact that we got H dubs and metaverse on this actual show together. So this is my first time uh, being able to, to be on the same show with them and I've enjoyed it thoroughly. So shout outs to them. Awesome. Well, they take a page out of Daffodil's <laughs> book to shout out someone in the game. No. <laughs> but yeah, it's been great uh, working with you guys. You guys are awesome. Thank you. Um, all right. And I'm going to actually, I, I didn't get to give a lot of the shout outs during the stream here. So we did have Bronco Raids come in. We had Nacho plays 50. Uh, we had Nick, uh, TQ, uh, Nick Q come in. And my shout out's actually going to go to him. I was on his stream a couple of days ago and i uh, really enjoyed it had a lot of fun uh chatting with him chatting with his community it was a, it was a great great stream to watch and have um all right let's talk what are your plans for this week in raid and we'll wrap it up after then uh mr zero brew what are you planning oh just uh keep grinding away at this uh the spider tournament dilio um working on the the missions and uh, just just the standard stuff. Of course, we got personal CVC. Don't forget Monday, Oof. Monday, Monday. Don't forget to save your resources for Tuesday, Tuesday, Tuesday. <laughs> I also have to give remind myself that's more for me than the actual community. Okay. But, yeah. Just just chill. Just uh, just try to get through it one week at a time. You know. All right. H uh, dub plans for the week. Uh, just you know CVC. Um, getting getting geared up for another Hydra Clash win as usual. And uh, yeah, man, waiting on you know I gotta I gotta get back into the swing of the game, you know. So I probably I I probably need to regear everything. <laughs> uh, man, my account has it has cobwebs on it. So uh, good thing we have a a whole new uh, free regear coming in. Uh, what like a week? Yeah, about a week. Mm -hmm. Um, Meta plans for the week, boss. What are we what are we looking at? Uh, lots of curiosity. I want to clear as much of it as possible before the free gear removal ends, and that's 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 my sole focus. CBC, CBC, obviously, and gonna enjoy this. But yeah, curiosity a lot. Okay. Um, PJ. Um, yeah, waiting for CBC, and you know, we got the classic weight Shadow Legends coming up. Everyone loves it. Um, gonna like I said, try to go for the Makage three star. If I get it, I get it. If not, boo hoo. I'm gonna be super upset. No, just kidding. Um, and then just <laughs> lots of uh, live arena. I've been really enjoying live arena, and uh, yeah, pretty much it. Okay, Kestel. 
Uh, yeah, CBC, obviously, uh, Live Arena two hours after reset uh, every night, and um, that, that's, uh, that's probably it. Oh, I'm going to be pulling uh, Estrid, Estrode, what's her name? Estrid Jameson? Uh, yeah, and, uh, and uh, trying to pair up with uh, Tagron, the, the Void uh, Organ Tribe champ I just got in okay. my double Yumi comp with Tronda. We trying that mm-hmm. out on Tuesday, see how that works out. Interesting. All right. All right. Ken? Uh, going to push the, try to push the plot tomorrow. Last week, actually, I got under 67 with the current nice. meta. It's pretty nice. nice. Thank, thank you. Uh, going to try to push further, but I have a low expectation. So. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, try to get as much as free stuff from the Mikage 4-star event. I'm not pushing hard. I'm going to skip the champion training. I'm going to skip the uh, summon event for it. But, you know, I can do dragon tournament. I can do spider tournament. So uh, I hope I can get at least primal shard on this event. Besides that, um, we will see what is the next week going to give us, actually. Okay. Okay. Daffodil? Conquering the world is a, a week. <laughs> Lots of PvP. You know, I love I love PvP especially. Live or in after me, that's that's the best content. I uh, wish to do one million in the CVC. Aiming for it. So I will not hard grind. I always hard grind for personal CVC. And the uh, usual fiddling around, cursing a lot. Okay. I'm coming for you boys in Arena, you know. Stay away. <laughs> for, you, uh, for, for anybody who didn't notice, that was a pinky in the brain, so Daffodil just showed us her true rage, uh, trying to conquer the yeah. world. But uh, <laughs> I'm not just trying to actively working towards. <laughs> um, that's it, guys. It has been a phenomenal uh, podcast. Thank you all for showing up. Thank you for the community for showing up. Thank you for all of you guys for taking the time. Um, we are going to be heading over to raid Mr. JR Star 3, who's doing some account takeovers from a um, sponsorship that he was doing in. Make sure you guys go show him some love there. Uh, and as always, guys, much love, much appreciation. Be safe, be well, be good to each Bye other. Y'all. We'll catch you guys next time.